<laughs> yes. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Sip and Spin. My name is Skylar, and over here is Brittany, and we are back with another spooky season game. Yes. This is a game I've heard a lot about. I have not watched anything or played it myself, though, because I wanted to actually play it myself, and yeah. I figured I'd bring Skylar along for the ride, because I Lit bought it recently. I've never heard anything about this game before, ever, until Brittany was like, hey, this is what this is, and I was like... Let's do it immediately. Yeah, so um, quick little side note. This game is actually technically in early access still, so it's not finished. Um, so it comes out in like different episodes. The game is actually not um, uh, on the path to release until 2025. Oh, wow. So, but I've heard nothing but like great things about it. So I'm very excited to play it and I bought it on sale. So I was like, let's do it. Uh, but it's a visual novel, so. Um, and yeah, there will probably be trigger warnings, so as we left up in the beginning. Well, I guess let's... Let's do it. Get into it. Uh, what do we want our name to be? Sipspin. <laughs> <laughs> Soupy. <laughs> That's our full government name, <laughs> Sipspin. That will just be... Oh, Sipspoon? Sipspin. Sipspin. <laughs> We could do sippy. Oh, oh well, wait. <laughs> it's too late. Uh, I can't go. Oh, where do we want to live? Uh, oh, we should have made our Sippy in the land of Sippin. Yeah. Wait. Can we restart the game? <laughs> yeah, we can. Oh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is vital information. <laughs> okay. Sippy. We're Sippy. From the city of Spin. <laughs> Perfect. Ooh. Ooh. They them? Or she her. Or he him. Hmm. I'll let you pick since I kind of <laughs> made our name in town. Um, who is Sippy? <laughs> what does Sippy identify as? Sippy seems like they're very non-binary. We, we support non-binary Sippy. Love it. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, traits. Oh, God. Talk to animals. Book smart. I automatically want to do the book smart, but I know you want to do mystical or talk. Hot. Oh, or hot. <laughs> I didn't even see that one. Sippy is hot. Sippy they, they are hot as hell. Okay. Oh, my God. Okay, let's go through yeah. each one. Powerful build. Tough as nails. The pinnacle of fitness. That is not either of us. <laughs> An imposing presence that commands the room. A mean right hook. I mean, I feel like I could punch someone out. Mystical, strange and unusual. You see the threads of reality in ways others cannot. That is interesting. I do love a talk, talk to, animals to animals moment. You can talk to animals. Animals can talk to you. A gift and a curse. A curse. Okay. Street smart, good at lying and hard to lie too. Ooh. Fast talker, you can read people and read the room. No door can hold you. What that that seems important. Useful, yeah. yeah. Keen eye, observant with a knack for picking up small details, empathetic. God, I want all of these. <laughs> Book smart, well read and rational, possesses a wealth of um, esoteric knowledge and know when to use it, a talented researcher. Hot. Hot. Extremely good looking, a natural flirt. People just like you probably because you're a good person. So what's our other one? Because obviously we're going to pick hot. Okay. <laughs> right? Like, it seems fun. I uh, love flirting in games. I don't know. That is true. God, flirting. this makes me think of any RPG I've ever played, and I would definitely lean towards... Well, I'm always playing a druid, so I love talk to animals, but mm -hmm. maybe it's not necessary. Street smart sounds very useful. Keen eye seems useful. See, I always go for book smart. Like Mystical. anything that's like, that's my go-to. Yeah. Okay. You just want to pick one and I'll pick one? We'll just make it even. Sure. Which one do you want? And then I'll try to balance it out with my pick. That way you can pick whatever you want, literally, from any of them. I don't, it doesn't matter. Let me just... We've both ever played, so I don't know how this affects the game. Oh, so, traits unlock additional paths and dialogue options. Okay. So it's kind of like an RPG. I think I have to go with it. I think I just have to. Okay. Book smart. So, well-read and rational. 
both of us to acknowledge talented researcher. I'm gonna go mess with all them. We're going to be a weird book smart person. See, if we can Let's be go. book smart and hot. <laughs> I thought about it, but I... people just like you probably. Maybe we're not a good person. <laughs> Let's be hot. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna have to play this already again. I know. We're sexy and smart. Uh, yes. You jolt awake as the bus hits a particularly nasty bump. You feel like you'd only just managed to start drifting off, and now here you are, awake again and still exhausted. Oh, that's the worst. Me every day. <laughs> I wake up and I'm immediately. You're I, like, always on a perpetual bus. <laughs> well, I'm just like I wake up. I eat breakfast, I have my cup of coffee, and then I'm like, I think I need a nap. <laughs> so. For a moment, you're hazy on the details of where exactly here is, confusing this bus with the many others that came before it. But as your mind continues to reassert its existence in the waking world, the past few days come back into focus. Turn that down just a little bit. <laughs> the long lost cousin, the bad news, 26 hours of bus rides with countless late night stops in seedy depots that would have felt unsafe even in the middle of the day. You wouldn't normally find yourself traveling like this, but your cousin bought the tickets. 26 hours on a bus? That, that sounds, sounds awful. Horrific. I think I'd just rather die. Or fly. Are planes not a thing? <laughs> the funeral of Pear, Pear Lane? Pear Lan? Oh, Pearl Ann. <laughs> okay, well, I don't think that's our fault. <laughs> the I feel like you had to say it like Pearl Ann Scarlet. Like, you need to give a southern drawl there. The funeral of Pearl Ann Scarlet, your cousin's mother and your aunt, okay. seemed like something you shouldn't ignore, even considering your own late mother's rocky relationship with this side of the family. Okay, so our mother is dead, and now our aunt has recently died. Mm. Fortunately, the end of your long journey is in sight. You're almost in Scarlet Hollow. Okay. So the town is named after oh, the family. Oh, yeah. I was to say her last name was Scarlet. Stranger. My aunt had a road named after her. Oh. They live in a very small town in... Or, uh, they lived in a very small town in uh, western Kentucky. Um, and their house was the only house on that road. And their driveway was like half a mile long, and oh, so that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so this is a stranger. So anyway, as I was saying, do you want to be our inner monologue? Oh, oh yes. Okay. Oh, oh no, he's still here. He's. <laughs> I <I've> felt. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. <laughs> He's been sitting next to you for the past five hours, talking Jesus. at you without pause. You're not sure he even stopped when you started to doze off. At first, you thought he was just being friendly, but that was several hours of one-sided conversation ago. I want to. I, I don't like that shirt. Uh, that makes me feel uncomfy. Like I was up in Maryland looking for work, but mostly messing around because I was a dumb teen. Me and my buddies were doing our usual prank stuff, you know, pushing joggers into the harbor, that sort of thing. As you do. I've never done that okay. before in my life. Oh, wait, what? Dude, what's wrong with you? Hell yeah, sounds awesome. Why are you talking to me? I Remain feel like silent. <laughs> yeah. I would just not talk. You, you do your best to keep a blank face. Waking up and by extension accidentally giving this strange man permission to keep talking to you was a mistake. Face. I hate it. So this girl comes up to us, swinging her purse, yelling about how she was going to call the cops or whatever. It was hilarious. I hate you. She actually hit my friend, and he said it hurt a lot, so I guess she really was mad and not just playing. Deserved. But she kept swinging, and soon enough, she lost her balance and fell into the harbor all on her own. We didn't even have to push her. Did she drown by any chance? We had a good laugh and fished her out. Uh, and her phone got soaked, so she couldn't call the cops on us. We wound up hanging out all day. She kind of became my girlfriend after that, and we've been on and off for about a year, so it's pretty serious. He gives me the egg. I, uh, only the egg. Egg all around. 
Though about five months ago, she tried to break up with me, like, for real. And geez, you ever just get so mad you just want to, like, kill somebody? No! I hate, I hate that she tried to break up with me. Like, if you're yeah. broken up or you're not. And then you don't pull that card ever. Oh, that's gross. Did he say... Oh, this is because we're hot. Oh. Did he say she tried to break up with him? You can't even begin to imagine what that might feel oh. like. No, I thought that was ever, going with what I said. <laughs> nobody's ever broken up with you. Because <laughs> we're hot. That's so funny. I honestly can't say anyone's ever tried to break up with me. I kind of feel like killing someone right now. I, I never, never feel that way like, now. Oh, yeah, all the time. What's wrong with you? Or smile and pretend. <laughs> That's honestly what I would do. Yeah, probably same. <laughs> But what do you want to do? I would probably do the same thing, the last one. Smile and pretend he didn't just say that. Because I wouldn't want to confront him. Because honestly, if there's ever a man talking at me, I just smile and because wait for my train ride or bus ride to be over It's with. usually the safest option instead of trying to like confront or start a conversation. I feel like this is just our customer service. Yeah. People coming in like, like mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> please leave. <laughs> like you are saying the most awful shit at my cash register, and there's nothing I can do about oh, it. Oh, look, so. I really have to go to the back. <laughs> Sorry. You smile and pretend he didn't just say that. I knew you'd get me. We understand each other. Somebody trying to break your heart, that changes a person. Makes them want to do things they never thought they'd want to do. He's a serial killer. I honestly could have killed that woman. Anyway. She's giving birth to our son. Right oh my now. god! So I'm trying to get up to Virginia to be there for that. Jesus Christ. But I don't know if I'm like into that stuff. So I might just wind up on a bus to New York or something instead. I always wanted to go there. You are a real piece of shit. You are the worst person I've ever met. Can we kill? Like, can we just kill him right here on this bus? Book smart. Have, Have you, you thought, thought about him? seeing a therapist? What's wrong with you? <laughs> That's interesting. Smart move. Get out while you still can or remain smart. <laughs> Maybe we should send him to therapy. <laughs> that is hilarious. I mean, honestly. I mean, <laughs> I'm between remain silent or have you thought about seeing a therapist? Oh, you picked book smart for a reason. Let's use it. Okay. That's us. Oh, am I? Okay. Yes. Are you, are, my, are you inside and outside? I'll be inside and outside. Okay. Okay. Maybe it'd help if you talk to someone about these feelings. Someone professional. <laughs> Sippy. <laughs> I'm not licensed or anything, but it seems like you might have a personality disorder. It might be worth looking at. He into. is not listening at all. No. Nah, I don't need that kind of stuff. Or I don't need to do that kind of stuff. But strangers are the best therapist. I feel a lot better after talking to you. I don't. I feel so much worse. <laughs> anyway, where'd you say you were headed? Oh, I'm so not telling you. <laughs> I didn't. Scarlet Hollow, just a small town. You probably haven't heard of it. Or don't answer. Don't answer. Absolutely not don't answer. Exactly. You don't say a word. The last thing you need right now is for him to know where you're going to be Jesus staying Christ. for the next he week. Would, sh- he would literally show up and be yeah. like, hey, bestie, <laughs> let's go kill someone while my wife is giving birth. Mm, if you aren't getting off at my stop, then you must be headed to Scarlet Hollow, David, right? Fuck. Or the holler, as they call it in these parts. That's the only other stop until this bus turns around. I ride it pretty often, so I know. Almost nobody goes up, ever goes up that way, though. Actually, I had a couple of buddies who went up there to work in the mine. There's a coal mine up in the holler, you see. And there's always a job listing or two on the boards around here. So it's a small mining town. Always creepy. Always creepy. I've never wanted to do that kind of thing myself. I like my lungs the way they are. Thanks, but my buddies get desperate enough to try it. I haven't heard from them in a while now that I think about it. I should see if they're on Facebook. See how they're doing up there. Oh, it actually says Facebook. That's so rare. Usually people change the... Oh, yeah, because like, of like copyright. Yeah. <laughs> Hope they didn't die. Oh my god, <laughs> this guy's crazy. <laughs> he looks back at his phone for once focused on something other than you. Thank God. God. 
Oh, this is me. It was lovely meeting you. Hope you don't get too bored with that when you're out to talk to. We'll be fine. Here, I have something I for you. I don't want it. I don't want it. Uh, why does it dripping? The stranger rifles through his pack before presenting him with a dripping bag of peanuts. Why are peanuts dripping? Uh, that's my question. Peanuts should not be dripping. They're boiled peanuts. Oh. I got them at a gas station a few buses back. I noticed you haven't eaten much, so I figured you could use them more than me. Plus, they dripped all over my bag, so I don't want to carry them anymore. Tip, sometimes pick... Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this, this is not him saying that. <laughs> Tip, sometimes picking a dialogue option establishes new facts about who you are. Okay. okay. Nice. I love boiled peanuts. Take the peanuts. No thanks. Screw you and screw your peanuts. I'm actually allergic to peanuts or eat the peanuts. Oh, okay. So I guess we could be allergic or we could like love boiled peanuts. Um, Ooh. I bet that would make it more dramatic. I don't, I don't know if we want to be allergic to peanuts. What if someone gives us peanuts? I know. Because it said we might... we'll give him a, re a way to kill us. I don't know if we should do that. Yeah. Uh, just no thanks. Okay. You put your hand up to say no. I'm not really hungry. Good, good choice. There's still a good 45 minutes left in your journey, pal. Assuming nothing goes wrong, best to just have them on hand. I'm really okay. The, the oh, go ahead. <laughs> the young man sets the peanuts down on the empty seat next to him. The juices dribble out through the bottom of the bag and into the upholstery, instantly soaking it in peanut brine. Ew. I hated that description. And with that, I leave you. Safe travels, friend. Yeah, bye. Good credits. <sighs> oh, God. Ick. Also, this art's really cool. I like it a lot. It is. And just like that, you're alone. The stranger's peanuts soaking into the seat across from you. Maybe you can finally get some sleep. Next stop, Scarlet Hollow. End of the line. Almost there. Okay. <laughs> the bus finally comes to a stop. It's brakes squealing as it deposits you in front of the Scarlet Hollow bus station. The sign at least reads bus station, but <laughs> calling that feels disingenuous. At best, it's a kiosk. Though for a small town like this, you're amazed there's so much as a road, let alone a bus that drives on it every week. The driver quickly shuts the doors behind you. La, la, la. The driver quickly shuts the doors behind you and starts the engine, kicking up dust clouds as he pulls away, eager to leave you and this place behind. Hey, Sippy. You instantly recognize the worn young woman from the few public photos on our Facebook page. She's your cousin, Tabitha, and she looks annoyed to be here. She does, indeed. Yeah, that's an annoyed face. <laughs> Make a good first impression <laughs> with a winning smile, because everyone likes us. Looks like somebody needs a hug. No, never be that person. Hey, Tabitha, give her your condolences or remain silent. Uh -huh. Good smile? Sure. That's why we got hot, right? Yeah. You've never met someone who is able to resist your ability to make a good first impression. You flash a soft smile and give your condolences. Okay. It feels right. I bet she hates it. Tabitha, it's so nice to finally meet you. I was so sorry to hear about your mom. Was your winning smile? Was your hot smile? <laughs> I don't have one. <laughs> it's just your everyday smile. Isn't it? Uh, thanks. For a brief moment, Tabitha is put at ease before she quickly straightens up and the annoyance <laughs> returns to her face. Felt. It might not have been much, but you can confidently notch up another victory courtesy of the winning <laughs> sippy <laughs> smile yeah. trademark. Actually, that is our trademark. <laughs> Thank you. We are the winning sippy smile now. <laughs> We're putting that on a shirt. Yes. <laughs> Come on, let's go. I don't want to spend any more time down here than I have to. Your cousin turns and motions to an old BMW parked near the bus kiosk. You follow her, clambering into the dusty relic. I guess her mom did just die. Yeah. It doesn't take much driving before the only signs of civilization are the car you're in and the road you're on. Tabitha maintains an icy silence as she focuses on the road. Tip. Dialogue options labeled Explore can usually be taken without advancing the story. They can impact relationships and unlock additional story paths, so choose carefully. Okay. Very Dragon Age. 
Okay, how are you holding up? I guess we're both members of the Dead Moms Club now, huh? Cheeky. So, the funeral. I can't believe we've never actually met before this or just remain silent. Um, ooh, yeah, how do you want to go? I would, I would say, how are you holding up? Okay. How are you holding up? Fine. Cool. I figured that would be something like that. Okay, you don't have to bottle up your grief like that. A little preachy. Yeah. Uh, you know you can talk to me, right? I lost my mom, too. Okay, but if that ever changes, I'm here for you. Or, whew, good to hear. Okay, I feel like the I'm here for you, all right, is yeah, probably the best one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, but if that ever changes, I'm here for you, all right, even after I go home. Sure. Oh, oh we can still, okay, we can explore some more. Um, I can't believe we've never met before this. Or so the funeral? Like, if we need to learn, know information about it? Yeah, that might be a good option. So we... So, so the funeral? Yeah. So, the funeral. It's on Sunday, right? Yep. Like I told you. Jeez, it's almost a whole week. Need any help planning? Have you worked out all the details yet? Um... I guess? <laughs> it's so difficult, actually. I'm so stressed already. Um, have you worked out all the details yet, maybe? Or we can try it, yeah. I, I literally, I don't know. Let's go for it. Have you worked out all the details yet? Mm hmm. Taken care of. Don't need any help. Damn, girl. Cool. I mean, I guess she's grieving. Like, I... yeah. Uh... <laughs> Do we make an awkward joke? Do I we... feel like the awkward joke is not gonna go over well with her. Uh, so maybe not that one. Okay. <laughs> Honestly, if I was playing this game by myself, I would pick that one. <laughs> but that's my attitude. It would be a different, it depends on the traits I would pick also, I feel yeah. like. Yeah. Book smart probably wouldn't know. No, I was just like, I don't know. Like, I just feel like it's... I think other of these, whichever one you want to do. Yeah. You want to keep exploring or should we just end it? I am honestly, I'm like, we probably just need, she clearly doesn't want to okay. talk. Okay. <laughs> You decide to sit in silence with your cousin as the car eases up the steep mountain road. Ooh, you're here. The glass, so much glass is broken. I know. <laughs> and here it is, the Scarlet Estate. Though it's seen better days, its crumbling elegance is not lost on you. Someone used, someone used, someone used, wh what? Someone used to cramped apartments in gray cities. Like you live in a city. Oh, okay. So you're used to cramped apartments. Okay. So, like, the the magnificence of this, like, even though it's decrepit, you're like, oh, this is so big because I'm used to living in tiny apartments. Okay. <laughs> I feel like the sentence could have been worded better because it was just, like, that is not lost on you. Someone, and for some reason, it just, like, I gotcha. wasn't translating in my brain. I gotcha. I think some sentences are definitely, like, harder when you have to speak them out loud. Yeah. But if you were just, like, reading it to yourself, you'd be like, oh, okay, yeah, I get it. Yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> We're really bad at speaking out loud, if you <laughs> listen to our podcast. Yeah, I don't, we, despite having a podcast, we haven't gotten any better. You know, we're still just as bad as we always have been, but it's, it's part of our charm, honestly, so. It's the sippy style. <laughs> um, but yes. Also, no. why, I hate this, that the overhang we got yeah, here. Yeah, um, um, that seems sketch. I feel like one heavy couch will take the whole thing down. As someone already who has a fear of, like, sinkholes and shit, like, I could never. Your mother told you about this place. Did, did I ever tell you about the sinkhole? You've told me about a sinkhole on okay. the podcast. Okay. About I, the where like, you were, like where, around where Jalen lived. Jaden, yeah. Jaden, yeah. yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Yes, you did actually, <laughs> um, and I still haven't. I think about it a lot. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Your mother told you about this place many times before she passed, always with an anger burning beneath her words. Okay, so mom did not like where she grew up. Yes. And I guess that's why you've never been here. Yeah, because remember, I've she never said, met your other family. She said that um, at the very beginning, like that, um, they had like a tiff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, the faded majesty you once imagined, 
you once imagined doesn't quite compare with what's in front of you, a jarring blend of opulence and ruin. As you stare at it, perched on the crumbling cliffside, you can't help but feel like it's something that should have been left to rot a long, long time ago. Hmm. Ooh, door. You're hit with a blast of dusty air as you step across the threshold and into the foyer. God, I assume this is all hand-drawn. I cannot imagine. It looks like it the is, detail. like all the scratchy, like yeah. the scratchy lines. That's so cool. I mean, you scratchy lines is my artistic <laughs> professionalism, um, as in I don't have any. But you could probably describe what this actually is better. I, I, it just it just looks really good, like ink work. Yeah, like okay. with a pen. Cool. <laughs> and then like or um, digital format, mm. obviously. Uh, everything in this room has been here for much longer than you've been alive. Each object cemented in place with layers of dust and cobwebs. You can hear doors creak on their hinges and the aches and moans of ancient floorboards as the house itself sways in the wind. Oh. <laughs> Welcome to our family's humble estate. Unfortunately, due to the current state of the house, only a few rooms will be safely accessible during your stay. I wouldn't go wandering anywhere else if you value your limbs. The floors have been known to give out. Please don't put us in the part that's <laughs> over the cliff. <laughs> <laughs> right? If you know it's good for you, you'll stick to your room, your bathroom, and the kitchen. And hallways, I guess. But only the hallways you need to use to get to those places. I'll show you around so you know where it's safe to walk. You can leave your bags here for the time being. Okay. Oh, Biltmore State. I've been there. Ooh. Cool, thanks. So, you live here? <laughs> it's beautiful. Lie. It's beautiful. <laughs> this place is falling apart. I thought y'all were loaded. Can't you afford to fix this stuff? Remain silent. I mean, I have actually been to the Biltmore State, so I think that's pretty cool. Let's choose that option, then. Okay. Oh. What did I do? Okay. Oh. <laughs> I was like, what just happened? I broke the game. <laughs> The architecture here is breathtaking. Chateau-esque style, reminiscent of the Biltmore estate. Color me marginally impressed. I didn't have you pegged as cultured. Oh, oh. shit, Tabitha. <laughs> okay. Believe it or not, this estate actually predates the Biltmore by nearly three decades. It used to be the crown jewel of the region, but times change and the attentions of the masses are ever so fickle. So she's smart. Mm. So she will probably like that we're smart, I imagine. Is the lady to win her over? Shall we begin the tour? Let's. Follow me. You put your bags down and follow Tabitha through a long, dusty hallway. She delicately steps over holes and tears in the floor, and you do your best to trace her steps. Kitchen! <laughs> On Wednesdays, a woman from town comes in and does the cleaning. Her name is Janie. I wouldn't recommend socializing with her. She'll talk your ear off. If you need any food, there's fixings for peanut butter and jelly. Don't touch my mac and cheese or my ice cream. Those are off limits. Oh, and you can also access the garden through here, but it's pretty wild, so I wouldn't if I were you. Some explore options prevent you from taking others. Okay. So if someone cleans this place, you said someone actually cleans this place. Have you ever actually seen that happen? Or this person just say they did it and leave? This is so nice. It's nice. Lie. It's perfect. Awesome. I love PB&J. Is there somewhere in town to buy food? What if I want ice cream? All right, what's next? <laughs> okay. There's so many options. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. Okay. Um... I picked the Biltmore one, kind of, so I'll let you see what you want to explore. I feel like we're a book smart hot person. What would we say? Book smart hot person. Or I guess a book smart person who is used to everyone loving you, so it's kind of tiffing us off that our cousin hates us. <laughs> what would be our reaction? Um, awesome. I love PB and J, probably. Yeah. People peel their energy. Yeah. Awesome. I love PB and J. How'd you know it was one of my favorites? Oh. Oh. That oh, damned yeah. smile. We got oh. Oh. <laughs> well, top cousin, cuz. Maybe you're good at the grimace. <laughs> it looks like your famous smile doesn't run in the family. That's so, so mean. mean. 
<laughs> She's trying, okay? Her mother just died! I don't know if they were close, but she should just die. There's a cat. There's a sassy cat in the back. I it looks it. just like Mochi. <laughs> it does kind of look like that. They're speaking of Mochi. She's just passed out over here. <laughs> well, I saw her earlier while we were doing the uh, beginning, and she was just staring up at the side of your PC. I think it was the fly. Oh, okay. Was and I was like, I was, I was just waiting for her to like attack the wires or attack the PC or something. I think it was that fly. I and then she out. just finally laid down. So I was like, okay. She just passed out. I didn't, but good for you. <laughs> Condescending much. Okay. Oh, so we can still keep going. So cleans this place, cleans this place. This is so nice. It's nice. It's a lie. Somewhere to buy food. <laughs> what if I want ice cream? <laughs> I feel like we would just be like, all right, what's next? <laughs> uh, okay. Fair enough. All right. What's next on the tour? Bathroom. Follow me. Great. It's been hours since I've gone. <laughs> As the two of you leave the kitchen, you pass by a tuxedo oh. cat sitting on the countertop. Is that your cat? Pet the cat. Leave the cat be. I'd probably ask first. Is before, that your cat? Yeah. Is that your cat? What's its name? Fru-Fru. Do not try to pet her. If she wants to be pet, she'll let you know. Okay, good Fair. Good thing we didn't try to pet her. Leave, Leave the, the cat, cat be. be. Ooh, I bet if we could talk to animals, we could talk to the cat. <laughs> you decide to follow Tabitha's advice. That's probably good. Shall we move on? The bathroom awaits. We shall. <laughs> You once again follow Tabitha through a long, dusty hallway. Maybe after a few nights, it'll get easier to navigate these spaces. But for the time being, you feel lucky to have not fallen through the floors. Oh, good. Guest bathroom. Not much to show. It's a bathroom. I'll wait outside. Do what you must, if you must. Okay, thanks, Tab. Um, I would not be able to use the bathroom if I knew someone was waiting outside. That and also, it doesn't look great. No, it does not at all. Um, it is a wretched bathroom. <laughs> Piles of junk sit untouched in the corners of the room and mystery stains paint like, the Can floor. we go back to, does someone actually clean this place or do they just tell you they clean it? <laughs> Who exactly uses this bathroom? Are you sure the toilet works? This is the worst bathroom I've ever seen. What a nice bathroom. <laughs> never mind, I don't need to go or go. I would immediately be like, never mind, I don't need to go. <laughs> you are desperate enough for this. You know, on second thought, I don't think I need to go. You might as well try since we're here. Oh, <laughs> the <crap>. pressure. <laughs> no, I'm good. Is there another bathroom? Let's suck it up and do it. I'm gonna let you choose this one. Well, if you were, if you lied and someone was like, well, you might as well, then what would be your next natural? Like, would you do it? I feel like at that point, or you'd say like, nah, I'm good. I'd probably say like, nah, I'm good. If I really didn't want to. Yeah, okay, fair. Nah, I'm, I'm good. Okay. <laughs> you leave the bathroom to rejoin your cousin and finish the tour. You still have to go, but it can wait until later. Maybe you'll sneak out to the garden. Next up, guest bedroom. Last tip or last stop on the tour, follow me. Well, if it's anything like the guest bathroom, I worry. You and Tabitha briefly return to the foyer before climbing the stairs and reaching the guest room. The room smells old. Dust, mildew, wood rot, it has it all. A week of sleeping in this place might give you permanent lung damage. It doesn't look that bad, though. This is where you'll be staying. The linens are fresh. I had Janie wash them last week. I had to endure a half hour rant about her kid to get her to do it. So you'd better be grateful. The closet is full of old family stuff, so you can't hang your clothes up, but you can use the dresser. It should be empty. Room is amazing. What a dump. Seems a little dusty. This room is nice. Thank you. Who used to sleep here? I guess I'll start to get settled. Um, I feel like I would to want to know here? who used to sleep there, yeah. Who used to sleep here? When? This house is almost 150 years old. Many, many people have slept here. Okay, fair. And now you'll sleep here, carrying on the fine <laughs> tradition of bedrooms being slept in. Okay, okay Tabitha. <laughs> She's sarcastic. <laughs> okay. Um, this room was nice, thank you, lie? <laughs> or I guess I'll get standled. Uh, I feel like we should just get settled. Yeah. I guess I'll start to get settled. 
Follow me. I'll take you back to the foyer so you can collect your belongings. See, I don't like to lie, but I also don't like to be mean, so I'm just like... Sometimes you gotta do a little white lie. <laughs> <laughs> this concludes our tour. I'm afraid I must return to my duties, so you'll have to entertain yourself for the rest of the day. Don't expect to see much of me. Some dialogue options will be optional, or addish, open additional conversation paths. Some right away, and others down the line. Ooh. So, hey, so is it cool if I bring someone over at some point this week? We are already <laughs> planning on backing. Okay, great. Is there a library in the estate? Where are you going? What am I supposed to do while you're gone? Are you sure you can't take the day off? Did I do something wrong? Why are you being such a jerk? Are you sure you're okay? I won't keep you. Or let her leave. Oh, Jesus, that's so, so many much. options in this game. I'm not even sure. Like, I feel like... Uh, maybe, is there a library? I'm gonna bring someone over to Macron. I don't know who yet. But is it cool? Um, are you sure you can't take the day off? I feel like maybe. Are you sure you can't take the day off? I kind of want to ask, are you sure you're okay? Like. I feel like she will not be receptive to that, but we can. Oh, totally okay, can. maybe. But she seems very. We gotta warm her up before mm. we pry type of person. Okay, fair. Uh, we could definitely ask about like a library if we want to know. Yeah. Any books anywhere? Because I mean, a bigger house like this, you would think there'd be a library. Right? Yeah, you would hope there'd be a library. I would want a library. Let's see. Is there a library in this state? I couldn't bring too many books with me. I'm not sure what else I should do with my time. That's fair. There is, but as I said earlier, most of the building is off limits. And the library is in the West Wing, which is extra off limits. You're better off heading into town. I'm pretty sure there's a library there. We're going to break into the West Wing. <laughs> Um, can you take me into town? Okay, so that's a new one. Hmm, what do you think next? Mm. We can do the Are You Sure You're Okay if you want. Maybe say like, okay, I won't keep you, but we should hang out when you get back. Okay. Alright, I won't keep you, but we should hang out when you get back. We'll see. There's a lot that needs to get done this week. Oh. Alright. So fast. Your cousin leaves through the front door. I like that she's like, here's this creepy house. You can't go in most of it, and I'm going to bounce. <laughs> like, how are we not supposed to sneak around? And now it's just you. You in this sprawling, decrepit estate. A PB&J sounds great. Set on your room. Go straight <laughs> to the Forbidden Wings. I knew it. <laughs> or might as well head to town. I'll let you pick. We know I would be chaotic. I kind of want to go to the Forbidden Wings of the estate. <laughs> you know what? Let's do it. We'll save. Okay. <laughs> With, Tab the <laughs> With Tabitha gone, there's no one stopping you from going into the Forbidden Wings of the estate. We die immediately. <laughs> Except uh -oh. for the locks and chains sealing them shut. Damn. And seeing that's where the street smart, like, no door yeah. can keep you. Would have been. Lock picks. Yeah. Ah. Okay. Well, we've got this this time, game. <laughs> Doors. <laughs> you got us there. Uh, settle into our room and then go into town, maybe? Okay. Now that your cousin is gone, the aches and pains of your journey sink into your bones. You stumble back up the stairs to your room, suitcase in tow, eager to unwind before you face the rest of the day. Sounds good. You stand at the entrance of your room. <laughs> okay, so we can take a nap, put the clothes in the dresser, check the closet to see what was left, look out the window, or examine the painting on the wall. I want to check the closet. Okay. Oh, oh no. This is I wrong. hated that. You can see why your cousin said you should put your clothes in the dresser instead of this closet. There must be decades of family history stacked up in there. Uh-huh. No. Don't. Don't touch the doll. Do not touch the doll. We're book smart. We wouldn't touch that. Some things are best left untouched. You close the closet behind you. Okay. Uh, close in the dresser. Ah! <laughs> you drag your suitcase over to the dresser and open the bottom drawer. A possum lurks within. It's quiet, but angry. If only we could talk to animals! <laughs> Look at his little face! <coughs> of course, oh, pardon me. Close the drawer. <laughs> Grab the opossum! No! Don't smack it or grab it! Put your clothes on top of the opossum! 
<laughs> My first thing would be, oh, pardon me. <laughs> oh, pardon me. <laughs> you gently close the drawer, leaving the marsupial in peace. This drawer belongs to the possum, and there's nothing you can do about it. That's fair. Yep, correct. <laughs> You open the top <laughs> drawer next. It's empty. As good a place as you'll find to put your clothes. Okay. Based on the state of the house, you wonder if you'd have been better off keeping your clothes in your nice clean bag. But there's no going back now. That's true, too. Uh, look out the window. Stairs? To heaven? <laughs> Where does that go? Yeah, it's the it's the stairway to heaven. <laughs> <laughs> stairway to heaven gently starts playing in the background. <laughs> you can only imagine how beautiful the garden must have been in its heyday. If you owned this place, you'd totally get out there with a shovel and some gardening gloves and whip it into shape. You'd go out and pull weeds, chop trees, carve topiaries, and do whatever you needed to do to return it to its former glory. And once it was all done, you'd sit by the fountain, which of course would have little goldfish in it, and drink a floral tea while enjoying the bird song. That sounds lovely, but do we know how to do that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, are we like professional gardeners? I don't... Yeah, you definitely do that, just not right now. <laughs> yeah. Okay, fair. Let's look at this painting. Okay. That must be an older relative of yours, judging by the dates on the inscription. You've never heard of her, but you'd barely heard anything about your aunt and cousin until a week ago, so that's not really a surprise. She looks very unimpressed with her life. Maybe you could ask Tabitha about this Mary Bell Scarlet the next time you see her. That is, if she's actually in the mood for conversation. Okay, so Mary we've got Bell. Pearl Ann, who just died, and Mary Bell, who's Very old picture. south. Yes. And then we got Sippy. <laughs> <laughs> Um, take a nap or do we want to go I think I want to go to town Okay. it doesn't seem like there's much else for you to do here right now um, PB&J or go to town fuck it we ball let's do the PB&J hey. <laughs> you haven't had anything to eat all day the only things louder than your <gasps> oh, oh if so we were allergic, allergic to peanuts Ooh, okay, okay. Um, the only thing is all coming together. <laughs> we're, we're putting, <laughs> we're connecting the dots. <laughs> we have a connected ship, but we're connecting the dots. <laughs> Uh, the only things louder than your stomach right now are the creaks and moans of this ancient place. A PB and J sounds exactly like what you need to take on the rest of the day. You head to the kitchen. What's that BuzzFeed Unsolved meme? Yeah. <laughs> I've connected the two dots. You haven't connected anything. I've connected them. Yes. You're back in the kitchen, ready to craft a beautiful peanut butter and jelly sandwich. It's a daunting task, given the state of the place, but the aggressive growls of your stomach outweigh your fear of food poisoning. Fair. To get started, you'll probably need to find some peanut butter, some jelly, bread, a plate, and a knife. Yeah, okay. the usual. Okay. Well, I feel like we would first search the cabinets, the pantry, or the fridge. Yeah. I don't think anything would be in the garden. with frou-frou or in the garden. <laughs> Or on second thought, you're not hungry anymore. Um, let's just look at the fridge. Let's yeah. see what we're working with. As you approach the fridge, your eyes catch a note taped to the door reading, Janie, stay out, in all caps. Oh. Below it in separate handwriting are the words, okie dokie. <laughs> How does Janie clean the fridge? <laughs> That's, she doesn't probably. You open the fridge, you already feel a deep urge to wash your hands, even though you have yet to touch anything other Why than Why are the they handle. making it so gross? That's a lot of jelly. <laughs> yeah, it, that is. that is. Um, take out mayonnaise, take the jelly, grab the ice cream, take the jelly. Take the jelly, that's why we're here. Jelly. Lucy's Jelly. You reach for one of the unopened jars of grape jelly, carefully checking its expiration date. You breathe a sigh of relief and you realize it's recent. Okay, so far so good. This was either purchased specifically for you or jelly is one of the few things in this kitchen Tabitha actually uses. All you need now is a plate, a knife, bread, and some peanut butter. Better close this fridge and keep looking. Okay. Uh, probably the... Close the fridge. Oh, yes, close the fridge. Yeah. You return to the kitchen, closing the fridge behind you. Uh, pantry. Okay. Tabitha sure loves her mac and cheese. That is a lot of boxes of mac and cheese. That is a That's lot of boxes. boxes. She can't spare one? Damn. <laughs> Let's take the bread. Yeah. We need that. One of the non-moldy loaves. Great. <laughs> One step closer to a satisfying snack. And then let's get some peanut butter. Uh-huh. <laughs> 
the king of nut butters, and only 3% of each jar is mashed up cockroaches. Ew. I think that is actually like a statistic. There's a dead mouse. There is a dead mouse and a mouse trap. The only things you need now are a plate and a knife. Okay. So, probably the cabinets. Yes, that's probably where plates are kept. That one looks like it's about to fall. And? Okay. Oddly enough, utensils. That yeah. is odd, yeah. I usually keep my utensils in a drawer. <laughs> I think most people do. <laughs> so, what would be. I mean. What's the shot glass <laughs> doing? <laughs> I survived Deb's 50th. Your aunt's name was Pearl Ann, so this wasn't from her 50th. Okay, little context. From the few stories you'd heard from your mom, Pearl Ann wasn't the type to have kitschy kitsch, friends who gave out themed shot glasses okay. at their birthday parties. Mystery shot glass. Ooh. Can we have it? <laughs> <laughs> What's the mug got going on? I was blown away at Blowing Rock, North Carolina. Hey, I've been there too. I oh, used to have live. You? I used to live next to Blowing Rock, North Carolina. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so your aunt and cousin actually traveled sometimes, even if it was only a few hours from the estate. Okay. Yeah, because we're in Virginia, right? Yes. Yeah, so that, I used to live on the corner of Tennessee, Virginia, and North Carolina. Oh, and Blowing okay. Rock is right there in that. Ooh, is Scarlet Hollow, Virginia, like a real place? <laughs> I need to look those <laughs> up maybe later. Maybe you can route your return trip trip through Blowing Rock. It might be nice to see the local sites before heading home. Blowing Rock's cool. Okay, I guess we'll get we have a bowl. <laughs> oh, I guess if you made mac and cheese instead. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, now we just need a plate and a knife. You grab a plate and a butter knife. This is the last ingredient you need to make your PB and J. Time to get to work. Let's go. That doesn't. Plates and knives are not ingredients. <laughs> <laughs> The last necessity. <laughs> Although I would argue you don't. Oh, I guess you do need a knife to spread it. Yeah. You just pour it. <laughs> <laughs> you close the cabinet and look back to the rest of the kitchen. Let's just make it. Yeah, because. Yeah. Unless I, you want to go to the garden. I want to see the gardens, but I also think we should make the PB&J. So maybe like if we check out the garden, we can come back and make the PB&J. No, now I feel like I'm gonna save every now. <laughs> Let's go check out the garden. The garden was reclaimed by the wilderness long ago. It might not be very safe, but who's to stop you from venturing deeper? Oh. Oh. No one. I wanna see it. <laughs> you wander further into the garden. It's quiet out here. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Well, well <laughs> that was anticlimactic. <laughs> I was really excited. <laughs> you head back inside and close the door behind you. Well, Make the PB and J. Yeah. I feel like we should leave for for a while. Yeah, we can't talk to the cat. So, despite the state of this horrendous kitchen, you have successfully combined your three ingredients to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Congratulations! You can feed yourself. <laughs> Yay! Yay! We did it! Hey! A, jo- a job well done. Yes. All of that hassle and it took you less than a minute to eat. The rest of the day lies in front of you. Um, you're done. Yep. Congratulations. You've eaten and have a full day ahead of you. What do you want to do next? Go to town, Go baby. to town. There's not much left for you to do here other than head out and explore the town. You do just that. Great. I love it. Oh yay! <laughs> if you had, if you'd have known you'd wind up having to walk all the way back to town, you probably would have just asked Tabitha to leave you at the bus stop. Especially with how unhappy she seemed to see you. I was about to say, like, how are we getting to town? So we're just hoofing it. Cool. Great. If only you could wipe the slate between the two of you clean and bury some of the tension. Though maybe her mother's funeral isn't the best time for something like that. Yeah. Yeah, we don't know their relationship. Like. Then again, maybe it's the perfect time. Oh, uh, well, that's that's kind of what I'm saying. We don't know their relationship. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> Can continue down the What path. do you want to do? <laughs> okay. Really pretty out here. In the mountains? I do miss the mountains. I've always wanted to live in the mountains. Finally, you made it back to town. This looks like where I used to live in the mountains. <laughs> very old school, very small, very decrepit. Let's go. That's why I don't live 
there anymore. The holler, as the guy on the bus called it, has probably seen better days. Hey. It still has the feeling of an idyllic country town, but its sidewalks are cracked and many of the storefronts are boarded up, their windows dusty with age. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. A chill breeze sweeps down the lane and you shudder, suddenly feeling as if you're peering into a grave. Ooh. Oh, hi! Oh! Baby. Gretchen, come back! Oh, quick! Oh, I got through that fast. Oh, I haven't seen you around here before. Oh, hi, Gretchen! I think Mothman Gretchen, shirt! I think Gretchen was the dog. Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> but damn, Mothman shirt! I love you already, whoever you are. Owner of Gretchen, mother of Gretchen, dog walker of Gretchen. I don't know your relationship. <laughs> the young woman is noticeably flustered by your appearance. It's a phenomenon that you, as a hot, are all too familiar <laughs> Let's with. Let's go! <laughs> We're gonna flirt! So funny. Sorry about Gretchen. She could be very slippery when she wants to be. Hope she didn't scare you. Look at the way Gretchen's looking at her. That's, look at her big ol' eyes. Again, another episode of just ugly small dogs <laughs> that are so cute, but they're ugly. Yeah, pugs are... My grandpa uh, used to have pugs, and they are the ugliest, stupidest dogs in the world. Oh, my aunt has uh, pugs, um, and... Oh, they are, they are something. They always sound like they're dying. When yeah. They yeah. <laughs> and you're like, are you okay? And every time uh, my aunt would bring um, Bubbies over or Khaleesi or whatever. Is that the dog's name? Her name is Khaleesi, but she was called Bubbies. Mother. Okay. Mother of pugs. <laughs> So that was, but they just called her Bubbies, and I'm like, okay. sure. But we had to put up Bo and Blue's food because, like, if Bubbies ate it, she'd like die. Like, she could not have it. Good, good. Yeah, that's a dumb face right there. <laughs> Pet the dog, a pug. She's so cute. Tell me more about this wonderful creature. I don't do too well with dogs. Is that supposed to be a dog? Introduce yourself. Remain silent. We should probably compliment her dog if yes. she we want to her the them pug, to like she's us. so cute. Or tell me more about this creature. Or, okay. So which one do you want to do? A pug. She's so cute. I guess. I love pug. She's so cute. Thanks. She is cute. <laughs> sure, most of her teeth have fallen out. and She's got a couple of weird growths, but for a 17-year-old pug, that's pretty good. That actually, actually is, is pretty good. good. Most pugs, pugs don't, don't even live say, that long. Pugs actually have a very short lifespan, right? Compared mm -hmm. to other dogs. They, they do, yeah. Yeah, that's an old-ass pug. She's 17? <laughs> that's amazing. That's too old for a pug, or I mean, I feel like the first two would be my own reaction. Yeah. So. <laughs> I would probably be like, she's 17? <laughs> That's got to be really old for a dog, right? It sure is. She's about 84 in dog years. I'm hoping she beats the current record holder and makes it to 19. Or better yet, 20. The more time we get together, the better. Isn't that right, Gretch? Ah, but what am I doing? I got so caught up in the excitement I'm of meeting new someone new that I entirely forgot to introduce myself. I'm Stella. Stella! It's not often I see a strange face up in the holler. Every now and then, there's a new crop of coal folks. But you don't look dusty enough for that. You aren't in town for the funeral, are you? The Scarlet funeral? We are. Well, introduce yourself. Yep, maybe. No, none of your business remains silent. Introduce us? Introduce yourself, yeah. Hi, I'm Sippy. <laughs> <laughs> You must be Tabby's cousin, right? Tabby. Are you friends? Does she have friends? That's the only person I can think of who would come to town for the funeral. How's she holding up? To be honest, I've been a little worried about her. All alone up in that big house. Did she say <laughs> Tabby? <laughs> Why do you want to know? She seems alright. Even though we just met a couple hours, I'd be lying. I was worried. She was so, you know. I don't know how she's doing it. I don't care. Why do you care? She's awful. Oh, God. Maybe one of the explorers and then we can go to one of these? Yeah. Um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Did, did you, you say Tabby? Tabby? Yeah. I'm sorry. Did I hear you right? I can't imagine <laughs> Tabitha ever going by something so bubbly. She did back when I knew her better. It's 
been a while. I hope she's okay. Okay, so they used to be friends. Yeah. Alright, um... We'll probably have these top the, ones. <laughs> yeah, I would do the I'm worried about her too, because I, I feel like I, I yeah, have been. You, you have been, like, <laughs> pressing that. Like, I'm like, are you sure you're okay? <laughs> I'm worried about her too. She's always been a little rough around the edges, but I figured she'd probably be having a rough go of things. She and her mom were really close. Okay. okay. I've been wondering that, actually. Good information to have. Bella. We are taking rude. notes. Yes. <laughs> she thinks she's been up in that old mansion all by herself. Oh, okay, so no one else lives there. It'll probably be good for her now that you're staying there, even if she doesn't think so herself. How long have you known her? Are you two friends? She's not worth your time. Damn. <laughs> we could be really mean if we wanted to. I can't wait to go back and play a mean character. It'll kill me, but I can do it. Um, um how, how long, long have you, you known, known her? her? Yeah. How long have you known her? Oh, quite a long time. The town's really small, so everybody's known everyone else as far as back as they can remember. Tabby and I got a little close when we were both in the school's production of A Midsummer Night's Dream. I was Puck, and she was Mustard Seed. A Midsummer Night's Dream is my favorite Shakespeare play, and Puck is my favorite character. <laughs> we love Puck. <laughs> of course. We love Stella. I, I'm struck on the Mothman yeah, shirt. Yeah, like, we Letterman already, jacket. We already like, I'm already Stella. kind of into Stella. Is there <laughs> romance in this? <laughs> As you might have expected, she was more than a little prickly, but I managed to soften her up a bit in the end. Okay, so that's kind of what we have to do. We have to get her to warm up to yes. us. But then she graduated, and that was that. Oh, and if you just got to town, you must be starving. Actually, yeah, I haven't ate anything. <laughs> Stella, do you want to go get food? I was just on my way to the diner for a coffee, and you got um, and they've got amazing biscuits. My treat. We totally didn't have that PB and Joby. <laughs> no, that's, I mean, PB and J, but you just said the J. You said jelly. PB and jelly. No, correct. I went PB and W. <laughs> oh, I thought you said PB and jelly, and you were like, that's wrong. I was like, no, that's right. No, I like, you completely said like a new word. PB and worms. <laughs> PB and Worcestershire sauce. <laughs> Whatever the fuck W is, I don't know. <laughs> Double. I think I was thinking of PBW and PBJ. <laughs> <laughs> and so it came out as PB and W. I mean, okay, okay. Um, but yes, anyways, we're going to follow her. That was horrifying that that just happened. I can't believe. Okay, diner. Oh, those look like the, the coal miners back there. And Definitely. The cops. I was going to say, what's with this guy's face? <laughs> <laughs> We're doing so great, and we're totally, like, sane and here and know what's going on. Um, the pleasant aroma of greasy breakfast food hangs heavy in the air. In contrast with the empty, lifeless atmosphere of the family estate, the diner is filled with a comforting din of human life. Mm -hmm. Oh. Nice. All of which grinds to a sudden halt as the patrons realize that a stranger has entered the establishment. Literally a nightmare. I <laughs> I would turn around and leave. Like, <laughs> I am not welcome here. I will be murdered in this small town. Like, if that happened to me, I would immediately just, I would leave. Like, there's no way I could go and sit down. Fancy city coffee, $2. Bottomless coffee, a dollar. <laughs> what is the difference? I need to know. It's just an iced coffee. <laughs> Hey, everyone, like, we can get people to like us. I'm okay. sippy. What are you looking at? Quietly slide into the nearest booth or silently stare at the patrons. Um, well, since turn around and leave isn't an option, I guess we can, like, live out our fantasy of, like... Hey, know. everyone! <laughs> hey, everyone, I'm sippy. Just in town for the funeral. Nice to meet y'all. Just in for the funeral. <laughs> Party. <laughs> God. The woman behind the counter beams back at you. Okay. Yay. We got one on the hook. <laughs> Hello there, and welcome to the holler. You just let us know if you need anything, okay? There needs to be a sugar in there somewhere. You nod politely, giving a small wave as you and Stella slide into <clears throat> the nearest booth. Okay. Cool. Looks like you'll probably be at the talk of the town for a while. It's not often folks around here meet many strangers, and with who you're related to... Well, folks love their gossip, you know? Why does Gretchen look 
terrified. <laughs> I think that's just a punk's face. <laughs> hey, Stella. I went ahead and fixed you up a coffee. I like the shirt. It's the most colorful oh. thing I've seen. Uh, of the, the lip piercing? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They gracefully place a cup of specially brewed coffee in front of Stella. Look at how they look at I each know. other, though. I feel like we are intruding. I like, I don't want to break up this couple. <laughs> like, they clearly have something going on. Oh, shucks. Thanks, Avery. Hi, Avery. And here's some bacon for the little lady. Oh. <laughs> Put the tongue out and everything. <laughs> Gretchen sniffs the bacon and digs in. Tip, you can hit the Y or triangle button on your gamepad to hide the text box at any time. Well, I'm trying. <laughs> you lie. <laughs> Anything for you, darling. Oh. Oh, so he's Anything hot Anything for you, darling. So they're talking to us. Okay. Avery. Uh, is it thinking bad for dogs? No, thanks. I ate it pretty recently. Sal said she's buying, so I'll have one of everything. Please and thank you. How much is coffee? Order a coffee or a, or a biscuit and coffee. Order a biscuit and coffee. Okay. Can I have a biscuit and coffee, please? I heard they were really good. And look They're at the wing. They're both winking at us. Oh, I didn't oh even notice God. Avery was winking at us. Oh, can we be in like a polyamorous little thing here? Let's go. I like the Mothman shirt. I like the palm leaf shirt. I want it better. <laughs> or a monster. I guess it's more of a monster. Best in the county. Avery pours, pours the fragrant brew into the empty mug in front of you. They linger after pouring your coffee, turning to you nervously. Oh. Oh. And I'm, uh, sorry for your loss. Okay. Before you have the chance to respond, they're gone. We did say we were there for the funeral. Yeah. So. Glad you took my advice with the biscuit. You won't regret it. Anything for you, Stella. <laughs> Anyways, the funeral's not till Sunday, right? That gives you quite a bit of time to slow around town. I'm trying to think if there are any cool events going on this week. There's always the reading adventure at the library, which is supposed to be for little kids, but I do it every month anyway, so she's also a book girl. That sounds like so much fun. Oh, and I'm pretty sure Avery's throwing a party Saturday night, so that's a fun thing to look forward to. Okay, okay, still an Avery, I'm in with the crown. And there's the weekly Sunday potluck. Wink. Okay. That should be right at the funeral, too, so it'll be a special occasion. Okay. I'm sorry, did you, you say, say reading, reading adventure? adventure? Yeah. Obviously, that one. Yeah. <laughs> Is the Pablo like a church thing? <laughs> uh, or did you say reading adventure? Yeah, definitely. I'm sorry, did you say the library had the has a reading adventure? You're so in. <laughs> yeah, Oscar's all about keeping things on theme. So this month it's a bunch of ghost stories. Let's go. Oscar. I think he's calling it Spooky Bookies. Spooky Bookies. You know, like how a ghost would say it. Oh, so it so is Spooky, spooky bookies. bookies. So I yeah. said it right the first time. I'm so on brand. That's so cute. <laughs> I love that. Oh my god, that's perfect. <laughs> yep. Oh my god, that's perfect. Cool. We should check it out this week. Yes, tell us a date. Absolutely. We're going to be there. But that's really just an afternoon. Any idea what you want to do for the rest of the week? Ooh, how's the general selection at the library? What's it to you? No clue. I'm sure I'll be able to occupy myself. I'll probably do it. Oh. I'd say maybe ask more about the library. No clue. Or be with Tabitha. But Tabitha doesn't really seem like she wants to hang out with us, so I don't know. Yeah, maybe. Um, hmm. I mean, if we say no clue. Because this seems. This oh. seems very like, I don't want to talk to you about it. Yeah. This seems very like defensive. Yeah. But no clue almost seems like it gives Stella the opportunity to suggest. Like, I don't thing. know what I'm doing. Yeah. <laughs> At least that's what I hope it seems like. That's what I would be like. Yeah. No clue, actually. Please help me. But this obviously like leads to more conversation. Yeah. And this feels like a, I want to be with Tabitha, not you. So I don't, I don't know. I don't know if romance is a thing in this. Like, I don't know if that's the goal at all. Or just making friends. Like, I have no idea. We're only here for a week, I guess. No clue? Honestly, I have no clue. 
Well, you're in luck, as you've happened to run into the person who knows all the best stuff to do around here and has limitless time to show you around. A hey. Perfect. My boss is pretty forgiving. Oh, wait, you probably wouldn't get that joke since we don't know each other that well. I'm self-employed, so I'm my own <laughs> boss, so I'm forgiving myself. Get it? I do. That's cute. That's funny. <laughs> laugh, get it, give a wooden laugh. No, please explain the joke. <laughs> I kind of laughed. So you want to laugh? Yeah. Ha, huh, funny joke. That's not how people laugh. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. I'll be here all week. <laughs> Before Stella can finish, Avery returns, biscuit in tow. One single biscuit on a kitty plate. Here's your biscuit. When he says it's on the house, she sends her condolences. Thank you, looks great. Did that. What about the train is a chow down? Thank you, looks great. My automatic thing would be like, oh, you didn't have to do that. Okay, okay, okay. Aw, you didn't have <laughs> to do that. That's exactly <laughs> what you just said. <laughs> you are sippy. Sippy is you. <laughs> no worries. Hope you enjoy it. You pick up the biscuit. It's delicate and fluffy. It nearly crumbles at your touch. Buttery warmth emanates from its surface. That sounds good. <laughs> You take a bite, it melts in your mouth as if it was nothing but butter suspended in a thin matrix of dough. Okay. <laughs> Truly, this is a perfect biscuit. We get it, okay? We're already hungry for this biscuit. Sorry, something touched my foot and I was like, what is, is it mochi? mochi? Yeah. Okay. I, didn't, I thought she was still over there. I didn't see her move, so. She switched the lane places. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> yeah, her tail hit me on the foot and I didn't know what it was for a second. I was like, if I look down, <laughs> there might be a chance we just have to call it here and just <laughs> I'm done <laughs> <laughs> it may be over uh, truly this is the perfect biscuit whoa this is the best lie biscuit. is I've had better <laughs> <laughs> this is the best biscuit I've ever had but that's not saying much I was whoa. whoa whoa this is a really good biscuit wow I'm so glad you like it Avery lingers at the table okay, for a Avery, while. why are you like it so, has Stella mentioned she's famous? No, she has not. Stella. Stella. You're self-employed. <laughs> oh, Avery, I'm not famous. Look, if you're not going to go around tooting your own horn, you know I'm going to do it for you. Okay, yes, they're in love. I just, yeah. Can I just want to be a part of it. Ship them or can we join them? <laughs> Stella, what would you? Stella sighs. <laughs> I'm a YouTuber. Okay, Stella. Good for you. Wait, what? What kind of videos do you do? Wow, that's rad. Okay. How does that make money? You and everyone else. <laughs> I'm made silent. Um, well, it's top three probably. Yeah, I'd be like, wow, that's rad. And then what kind of videos do you do? But I think we only get to do one. I think we get to pick one, yeah. So which... I feel do. like the what kind of videos do you do opens it for more conversation. Okay. Cool. What kind of videos do you do? She hunts cryptids. We should have known. <laughs> Let's go. My yes. favorite kind. You should really check out her channel, Sippy. It's amazing. Oh, we will. I think the best video to start with would be that river one. Not the lake, but you know, the controversial one. Oh. Oh. Stella. Oh, <laughs> yeah. The... Catawaba? Catawaba River Runner? Is that a real cryptid? I didn't expect much out of that footage at the time, but it wound up being my most pop popular video by far. Okay, there, now Maybe there's a fly. Catawba? Kat I think it's Catawba. Catawba River Runner. I don't know. Is that a real thing? I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna find out. Very we're, curious. We're now. finding out right now. I mean, she's wearing a, they said Facebook, she's wearing a Mothman thing. I bet it's a real thing. Everything seems to be real places. The legend of a monster snake in the Catawba River dates back centuries, but some see new proof in a grainy photo taken over the weekend at Sunset's Point on Lake Wiley. 
The photo posted online Sunday shows what could be the head of something sticking out of the lake with a sinuous wake spinning several feet behind it. Within hours of it being posted online, talk of alligators, giant water snakes, and a monster were being shared on nextdoor.com, a community networking site. Lake Wiley, which does not have alligators, is a dammed section of the Catawba River south of South Carolina. The Catawba Runner a tribe, is one involves monstrously large snakes. So the tribe of indigenous people based in the same area has folklore that tells of multiple river monsters. One involves a monstrously large snake that prey on people and the rappers and giant leech-like creatures. So I bet it's like a giant snake. Seems like a giant snake. And I bet if we keep going, she might tell us all oh. of this. <laughs> all right. So, the River Runner is a cryptid that's only known from a single sighting. Two Boy Scouts thought they saw something big and weird in the... How do we say this? Catawba? Could, I think it's Catawba. Catawba. I River. And that's all I had to go on. But then I wound up catching this on camera. Ooh. Stella pulls out her phone and shows you a clip of something in a river. The size and shape of the creature's body tells you it's likely a predator, and it's definitely not a wolf. You seem to recall that mountain lions used to live up here. Who's to say if there aren't a few left? In a river, though? Yeah. Some folks said it was a beaver, but if that were the case, it'd be at least twice the size of any beaver I've seen. Fair. I also had people saying it was a dog, or even a capybara, that must have escaped from a local wildlife sanctuary. I don't think there are capybara in North Carolina and Virginia, are there? Wild? Well, it said wildlife sanctuary. But, like, wouldn't they not, like, are things in a wildlife sanctuary in the area if they're not native to the area? I don't know. I don't know. But I started singing the capybara song. I know. So. Don't, because it will get stuck in my head. It's a very <laughs> fucking catchy song. It is. It's very catchy. <laughs> I'm still not sure what it was, and I'm uh, the one who saw the thing with my own two eyes. Fair. Okay, maybe it's a mountain lion. That's what we deduced. Uh, it's an honest to god cryptid there. <laughs> that would be mystical <laughs> me, okay? <laughs> totally a dog. Wait, a beaver? Hold on. Whatever it is, you should leave it alone. I don't believe in cryptids, so I guess that would like be like a thing we would submit as our personality. Mm. We're remain silent. So you want to do, like, logic, like, our reasoning brain? Do you know, like, go, like, no, I'm not a believer, which is used to be I kind of want to be like, oh my god, that's a like cryptid. <laughs> like, I'll just have gone cryptid there. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. That's an honest-to-goodness cryptid right there. Why do we change it from honest-to-goodness? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. So <laughs> PC. <laughs> Uh, no way that's a beaver or a dog, and there's no way a capybara would be swimming in a river in the mountains of North Carolina. Capybara. I hate you. Capybara, 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 capybara. It's so much fun. <laughs> Unless there's some North American colony of capybaras in Appalachia, but that would... Appalachia? Appalachia. Thank you. I used to live there. But that would still count as a cryptid, wouldn't it? Yeah, it's like an Appalachia. Like they're throwing it. That's a good thing to People like to say Appalachia, but it's Appalachia. Like mm. you're throwing an Appalachia. Because I guess I say it like. I used to say it the other way, and Richard would yell. Uh, I'm just going off of Richard because he used to yell at me when I'd call it Appalachia. He's like, no, it's like a fucking Appalachia. And I'm like, okay. See, because I guess to me, it's kind of like whenever I see it like that, because when I say like the mountains, I say like the Appalachian Mountains. Mm -hmm. But whenever I see it, it's kind of like, you know. Um, Caribbean versus Caribbean. You want to take the Appalachia. Like, I get it. Like, yeah. Appalachia sounds better, but it's Appalachia. Mm. That's coming from my boyfriend who grew up there. I only lived there for a few years. <laughs> okay. Uh, there's some weird shit in those woods. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, until someone catches the capybara up there, that would still count as a cryptid by most standards. My comment section went nuts for this footage, and from there it spread to Twitter pretty fast. There were polls for days, I even had actual experts weighing in. It was all a really cool experience. I love that for you. And it meant the video did some pretty great numbers, I bet. Personally, I'm a fan of the Capybara theory. <laughs> okay, bro. 
Sure, it's not like any local sanctuaries were missing one, but there's always people keeping exotic animals as pets. That is true. Kind of a sewer gator type situation. Exactly. Some exotic pet owner set it free and now it will forever roam the <laughs> Katawap, Katawa, whatever we said. Confusing Boy Scouts and YouTube commenters for years to come. <laughs> That's our lake now with the alligators. <laughs> So, speaking of things to do around town, I was actually planning on filming this week's video tonight. I was wondering if maybe you'd want to come along. Absolutely! Absolutely yes. <laughs> That's amazing. It's a pretty easy one this week. We wouldn't even have to camp anywhere. I'm gonna go after the... Wait! No spoilers. Avery! Whoops! Sorry, Avery. It's okay. I should probably get back to it instead of standing around chatting with friends. See y'all around. Hi. Bye, Avery! Now that the coast is clear, I'm going after Skunk Ape. Okay. Is this real? <laughs> I don't know. Does it skunk egg? Oh, okay. Live in Florida? Ew, stinky. What's a skunk ape? Skunk, skunk ape. Heck yeah. Isn't that just worse Bigfoot or I mean silent? I mean, if we're book smart and we know, why not just be like, hey, does it not live in Florida? Yeah. But doesn't skunk ape live in Florida? Oh, you know your stuff, don't you? I knew you'd make a great partner. Yeah. It mostly lives in Florida, but there have been sightings as far north as Virginia. While I was doing research for last week's video, I came across a report where a lady from a town over claimed to have seen one on her deck, playing tug of war with her <laughs> dog. Okay. And as I leave no stone unturned, I decided it was worth investigating. Well, we that. probably shouldn't bring Gretchen. Just so, uh, if you are wanting to play tug of war with Skunk Ape, <laughs> Gretchen is not the dog, Stella. Yeah. Gretchen's not the dog. So, what do you say? Want to tag along? Yes. yes. Hold the camera for me while I narrate against a darkening sky. That sort of thing. I would love nothing more, Stella. It's, it's a, a date. date. Yeah? Yeah. It's a date. Cool. This is gonna be a lot of fun. I actually started the channel with a couple of buddies of mine back in middle school, but it's just been me and Gretchen for quite a while. Back in middle school, damn girl, okay. That's a long time. You were an OG YouTuber then at that point. <laughs> yeah. Me and Kanika and Reese running around in the woods, flipping over rocks and bothering salamanders. Our videos were terrible, but we had a lot of fun and that's all that mattered to us. <laughs> Us. <laughs> Love that. Yeah. That's, that's this, this YouTube, actually. Thank you very that's, much. that's Sip and Spin. We're having a lot of fun, okay? Yeah, we just have fun here. Maybe you'll get the chance to meet them later this week. Okay, so you're still friends. That's good. So, we should probably head out if we want to make it up the mountain before it's too dark. We're doing this, like, right now. Okay, bet. Are we, like, do we have the proper shoes for this? Let's blow this popsicle stand. I say that all the time. <laughs> so. Clearly a match for never. <laughs> you pause before getting up. Maybe it's time to make a good Ooh. first impression. I feel like she already likes this, but all right. Yeah. Leave, oh. Oh. Ooh. Leave a generous tip. Yeah, obviously. Yeah. You don't really leave a tip. You just been like, never do that. No, absolutely not. Always leave a tip. Yeah. You reach into your pocket and pull out a crumpled $5 bill. You know it's a bit more than one would expect to get from such a short dining experience, but you might as well share the wealth while you've got Support, it. Support service workers. Yes. Always leave a tip. Always leave a good tip. You smooth out the bill before placing it on the table inconspicuously. Mm -hmm. oh, that's awesome of you. Avery will appreciate that, I'm sure. Stella turns to leave the diner with you following close behind. Ooh. Ooh. That's a cool shot. It hadn't been very cold when you first arrived in town, but as the sun dips closer and closer to the horizon, a chill descends upon the hollow, and you see your situation with renewed clarity. Oh, that's so cool. You're in a new place, far from civilization and the people you know, following someone you just met into a dark forest in search of monsters. I trust Tella. Come on. You feel... More alive than you've been in years. Calm, tense, unsettled, nothing. Um... First two for me, honestly. I think more alive than you've been in years. Let's go. You feel alive. The fall breeze passing through the leaves, the orange hue of the setting sun painting the horizon, the promise of excitement ahead. Honestly, I love a good crypto search, so this is like my fucking jam. Mm -hmm. So I should have said mystical. 
<laughs> it's been a while since you felt this in the moment, this present. The world around you feels almost magical. Were a mythical creature to actually manifest in front of you, it would fit perfectly in this world. I love that feeling. Honestly, that's what living in the Appalachian Mountains feels mm. like. Like, a creature could walk in front of you at any fucking moment. <laughs> Gotta love this brisk fall weather. This past summer was the hottest on record. Hey, that fits into now. Since last year, at least. <laughs> yeah. You know how it is these days. Each summer is the hottest yet until the next summer, which always finds a way to be so much worse. Global, Global warming. warming. <laughs> hey. That's what that is. Gretchen, where are you going? C come back here. <laughs> Gretchen, you probably shouldn't wander too far. It's just nice to feel a chill in the air and see the leaves change. Like normalcy is restored. If only for a moment. Yes. Sorry if that was a bit of a bummer. We should talk about something more fun. Like skunk apes. Are you really expecting to find a thing? Do you ever have things that aren't cryptids? Okay, like ghosts. Has anything bad ever happened? What's the weirdest thing you've seen? Let's move on. Personally, I like, do you ever have anything? Or what's the weirdest thing you've seen? I was thinking the do do you ever hunt things that aren't okay. cryptids? Yeah. Do you ever hunt things that aren't cryptids? You know, like ghosts, demons, werewolves, that sort of thing? Yeah, for sure. I used to go after all sorts of spooky stuff. I never had much luck, though, especially when it comes to ghosts. Back when I first started doing solo videos, I'd go to all sorts of old abandoned buildings, hoping I'd stumble across some sort of activity. But nothing ever happened. It was always just me and my camera in an old house getting worked up over a gust of wind or a creaky floorboard. When all's said and done, I've just been a lot luckier with cryptids. I want to believe in ghosts so bad, and I can't rule out the possibility that there really are true hauntings out there. But if there are, I sure as heck haven't seen any myself. Werewolves, I kind of lump in with cryptids. I'd be shocked if there actually were people out there who turned into animals, but werewolf lore lines up pretty well with the great beast genre of cryptid. As for demons, I don't know. I honestly don't even want to consider the possibility that they exist because if they really were out there, geez, a lot of folks are doomed to an eternity of flames. So let's hope all that's just bunk, am I right? What about aliens? Let's ask about aliens. What do you think about <clears throat> dot 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 aliens? The dot 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 has returned. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for it actually. We've said it a few times and you haven't said it. <laughs> Don't even get me started. Did you see those UFO videos the government declassified? Aliens are definitely real and they have absolutely visited Earth. Like, I believe in aliens way more than I believe in cryptids. You don't see me hunting aliens out here because we know they're real. Fair. Aliens exist, but I'm not sure they've come to Earth. Heck yes, aliens are real. I'm skeptical. See, that's just what the government wants you to think, and no opinion on aliens or remain silent. See, I'm... My personal beliefs... You're skeptical. Well, actually, I believe in aliens. I believe in aliens Sorry. not in the way that like the media portrays aliens or the way that people think of aliens. Um, but I do believe that there has to be life on other planet. Like our galaxy, our, you know, universe is infinitely large and constantly expanding. So to think that there's nothing else out there except for what's on earth. Is so you are your book smart. Your aliens yeah. exist, but I'm not sure they've come to earth. Yeah. Okay, that's fair. Let's go for it. I do believe aliens exist, but I'm not too sure they visited Earth. The chance that anything beyond a single-celled organism exists anywhere close enough to realistically travel to Earth, combined with the even smaller chance of those life forms existing at the same time as us, combined with the even smaller chance that those organisms have invented and perfected space travel to the extent that they can casually visit other worlds, those chances are low. Let me just say that much. Low! But not zero. <laughs> anyway, agree to disagree. But I've heard some neat stories. I know somebody who knows somebody who heard a story from this trucker in Fayetteville. His truck stopped in the middle of the road, just shut down completely, even though he had a full tank of gas. And suddenly, it looked like daylight outside. He could see cows out in the fields, birds in the sky. Then this metallic, like, 
egg thing appeared, floating in front of his truck. He passed out, and then when he woke up, he was missing one of his pinkies. It was like it had never been there. It was just smooth skin where a pinky should be. I know it's a secondhand source, but there's plenty more like it, and if they are true... I'm convinced. Alright, maybe I can come around on this. What if he just lied? Maybe it was just sleep paralysis? Could have been the government. I'm still skeptical. I'm not engaging with this or remain silent. Mm -hmm. I'll let you pick this one too because you led into the skepticism. Because I am a believer in aliens, okay? I feel like this is a good debate between your book smarts and Stella's belief. My, I'm between what if he just lied and maybe it was just <laughs> <laughs> sleep paralysis. But the thing, I forgot about the pinky part, so I'm like, what if he just lied? <laughs> All right. What if he just lied, made the whole thing up? How did your friend of a friend hear this story anyway? You got me there. It could be a story he concocted around his already severed finger to spice things up when people ask him how he lost it. And like I said, it's a secondhand story. But wouldn't you rather believe this guy and all the others like him than be caught off guard when the aliens finally make their presence known? This is literally me and you in our podcast. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. This is I am Stella. When I this up. <laughs> I'm just saying, there's no harm in keeping an open mind. Are you expecting? I, okay, so we can keep going. Um, are you expecting to find anything? Anything bad ever happened? The weirdest thing you've seen? Well, that was the other question you wanted to ask. Yeah. So. Okay. What's the weirdest thing you've seen out here? Other than anything cryptic related, of course. Oh gosh, that's a good one. Let me think. Well, there's always the deer I saw stealing baby birds out of a nest and eating them. That was pretty messed up. Oh God. But I think most people know about that these days. I've seen tons of video of other deer doing it. So I'm not sure if that counts as weird anymore. Richard has a weird Appalachian deer story. Okay. Fun fact. <laughs> I they, The deer are weird there, okay. <laughs> oh. Tennessis? 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 Is it? Is it tetanus? Isn't that how you spell tetanus? I have no idea. I think that's how you spell tetanus. Really? I think so. So there's a tetanus lake? <laughs> I thought tetanus was steamy. I don't know. Maybe not. No. I didn't know there was an A in it. There could. I guess there could be. Because I've never actually spelled yeah. it out. Tetanus. Oh. Tetanus Lake? <laughs> really? That's what we're naming our lake? I was like, I'm pretty sure that's how you spell tetanus. I just never thought that would be a lake name. <laughs> oh, Tetanus Lake. That's definitely the weirdest I okay. can imagine. Well, look, read the description. Oh, it's a five foot deep, 30 foot wide pile of old cans and bottles and assorted garbage with grass and trees growing out of it. So you could barely tell it was there until you stepped in it. So it's not an actual lake. So no wonder it's called Tetanus Lake. It's okay. just so like... it's like a slang term for it. Okay. Yeah. I thought it was like an actual lake. <coughs> okay. I, that's what I get for not reading ahead. <laughs> it was practically solid ground with how much it had been compressed, but you could still fall through if you weren't careful. Hence the name. Great. Better be up on your shots if you want to mess around in there. Yeah. Yeah, so it is tetanus. <laughs> it's all stuff from the 50s, too, which is super neat. I salvaged a few bottles and I keep on my dresser as a little souvenir. Okay, cool. Hmm. Is anything bad ever happened? Maybe, just so we like, uh, get a little idea. I'm so sorry. Um, <laughs> has anything bad ever happened on one of these hikes? You know, da, da, da. just curious. Hmm. Let me think. There was that time back in early high school when Reese fell down a cliff. Oh, God. But he was fine. <laughs> uh, we had some folks from town pick up a pulley to get him out of the ravine, and it's like only took a couple of months to heal. Cool. Oh, all not too bad. Very optimistic outlook. Though I guess there was that time I got out here alone and kind of got stuck in a cave. I was getting great footage of what I thought was a family of wampus cats, but I wasn't able to wiggle my way back out. I should be laughing. Turns out that the wampus cats were actually skunks who very much did not appreciate me blocking the entrance to their hidey hole. And 
of, instead of running for help, Gretchen just sat outside, bored to tears. Lassie, she is not. <laughs> well, look at her. She's currently <laughs> staring off into the woods, terrified. Lassie, she <laughs> is not. <laughs> you are correct. <laughs> You are correct, shoddy. <laughs> it took about an hour to get loose, which was pretty intense. But a few tomato juice baths later, and I was right as rain. So it could have been a lot worse. Oh, and there was that time I accidentally stumbled onto Old Duke's property. and nearly got my head shot off. But that happens to everybody sooner or later. <laughs> I'd barely count it. So yeah, these hikes aren't all that dangerous, all things considered. Cool. <laughs> are you sure it's <laughs> safe? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. Did you just say you almost got shot? Are you sure it's safe here? That's the mountains, baby. <laughs> you know, I'm a little surprised to see you getting cold feet. I know we just met, but I had you pegged as pretty adventurous. Uh, well, I was right into, up until, you know, <laughs> the everything. I really wasn't worried about Duke, though. He might be a little jumpy, but he means well. And these trails are a ways off from his farm. And if it makes you feel any better, I've been out on the trails with him before. The man sounds like a truck crashing through the woods when he walks. <laughs> we'll hear him long before he sees us. And the wildlife isn't anything to be afraid of either. The worst I've seen up here is the occasional black bear, and even they scare easy. Black bears are much less scary than brown bears, yes. But hey, there's no point worrying about whatever bad stuff may happen to us. Yeah, aren't black bears the one that you just gotta like, make a lot of noise and yeah. scare them off? Whereas like brown bears, you basically have to play dead and cover yeah. your head and yeah. brown bears, hope for the best. You never want to come across a brown bear or a polar bear. Yeah. But uh, a black bear, yeah, you can scare pretty easily. That's where, when we lived in the mountains in this area, there were black bears. You just have to make a lot of noise when you mm. hiked. Sure, sometimes worrying can help you prepare for something, but we're as prepared as can be. I even carry bear mace. And if you're as prepared as you can be, why give in to your anxiety when you can have fun instead? Okay, listen. <laughs> I just have anxiety all the time. <laughs> yeah, that's... Anxiety, anxious is kind of my default status. <laughs> like, I'm yeah, usually as, always anxious. As I grow older. <laughs> it's not like being anxious ever stops anything bad from happening. Well, it stops me from doing stupid stuff. In my experience, all it does is make the bad things worse. Okay. The only thing you can do is tell yourself this has happened there's no going back to before this bad thing happened and then you work on making things better oh no i will constantly <laughs> think about the bad thing make it worse for months on end <laughs> and i will just think about it every time i'm trying to go to sleep every time i have a moment alone with my thoughts i think about the bad thing and i'm like this was awful <laughs> anyway all this to say <laughs> we're good don't worry <laughs> i will worry <laughs> <laughs> thanks did you hear that? That sound <laughs> right as I moved. Oh, is that? Is that is that Duke? Duke? Is that old Duke? Oh, calm down, Gretchen. You mutt. You old mutt. Hey, be nice. Oh, okay. Same to you, Stella. You're always jumping at nothing, girl. <laughs> ah, sorry for getting spooked, Duke. I thought you were some creature of darkness. Nah, girly, just old Duke. Now what the hell are you looking for out way out here? Skunk ape. <laughs> Sorry I asked. <laughs> okay, I love Duke, actually. I love Duke already. <laughs> and who's this you've suckered into coming with you? Wait a tick, you are. Is that? Yep. I see. Welcome to the holler. Hello. My condolences. I'll keep you in my prayers. Now both of y'all head back to town, you hear? It's best to steer well clear of this area tonight. I'm out dealing with my own critter and won't be too appreciative if a couple of fools with a camera scare away the more sensitive wildlife. Look at Duke's face, or Gretchen's <laughs> face, not Duke's face. Gretchen. Look at both faces. <laughs> what are you hunting tonight? Something tall, or something tall and hairy? Something musky? You see anything like that recently? Wouldn't you like to know? You never could stay in your business cellar, Richmond. Put that damn camera down. Ah, oh, come on, Duke. Maybe I can help out. I'm pretty good at tracking. You know I learned from the bus. That you did. Hmm. But I have yet to see a shred of proof that you listened to any of it. The way you tromp around the woods at night yelling about chunkabunkus <laughs> or what have you. <laughs> Something's been getting at my chickens. I've lost three this week and can't afford to lose many more than that. I'm so 
sorry to hear that. But uh, I wonder if Skunk Ape has a taste for chicken. Now see, this is why I don't come to you about these things. <laughs> it ain't no Skunk Ape, whatever the <laughs> hell that is. I know exactly what this is, but I know you won't believe me if I tell you. Oh, dude, you don't think it's... I do, actually. It's those damn mountain lions. They're out there, Stella. I don't care what your little investigation turned up. You haven't been in these woods as long as I have. Those sons of bitches are sneaky. Of course you wouldn't find any in one night of tracking. Now I know for a fact that's what's been getting at my chickens. It couldn't be anything else. I'm telling you, man. Mountain lions are extinct in these parts. There hasn't been an actual sighting since the 1990s. And even those were iffy. I can't believe you go out there on your YouTube saying some river monster spotted by a couple of school age boy scouts has been 100% confirmed. Yet yeah, Appalachian cougars are some kind of far fetched fantasy made up by geezers like me. You made me look like a fool. I read those comments. People were posting on your video, they were calling me all kinds of names just for seeing things with my own eyes that I know to be true. I'm sorry, Duke. I didn't mean to stick anybody on you. I just don't think it's possible. You'll eat those words when I come carrying a mountain lion corpse out of those woods at dawn. And if you two don't want to face a full, a, don't want a face full of buckshot, I suggest you run home and stay out of the woods tonight. I'm almost on the don't butt in. This is between Duke and Stella. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we can go that route. That's what you think. Hmm. You stand awkwardly by as the two continue to argue, because that is exactly fair, what I yeah. would do. I mean, it's really not your business. Duke, you're just wasting your time. Give us just one night out there to see what we can find, and I'm sure we can get to the bottom of this. Yeah, right. You'll get some shaky footage of a raccoon and claim it's a heretofore unknown creature that has heat ray vision or some sort of nonsense. I know what I'm looking for, and there's no way I'm backing down. But I've got to film tonight. The video needs to be out by tomorrow evening so I can keep on schedule. If I miss an update, I might lose my new sponsor, and who knows what that'll mean for my career. You ain't the only one on a schedule. As you well know, my boy Bo and me are headed down to the state fair to show off Big Betty. We'll be gone near a whole week, so our chicken coop might as well have a big ol' all-you-can-eat sign on it. You know how I feel about my chickens. I couldn't take it if I lost any more of my poor little ladies. Ooh. <coughs> well, that's just We wouldn't just leave Stella, so it feels like yeah. Let's I just would go, Stella. let's just go, Stella. Let's just go, Stella. He's not gonna budge. You're right. No point in losing any more time arguing. Fine, we'll head back to town. Break a leg out there, Duke. Break a what now? I mean, good luck, old man. All right, have a nice night, y'all. Duke, are you gonna die? Is Duke gonna die? Oh. <sighs> As you and Stella return to the trail, she carefully looks back the way you came. Okay, the coast is clear. There's no way we're letting Duke edge us out that easy. I knew it! Come on, I know a trail that'll let us go around him. <laughs> yes, I knew you wouldn't give up on the hunt, lead the way. Oh no, we're actually, we aren't actually headed back to town. Are you sure you don't want to like watch a movie? No way, not with Duke and a shotgun out there waiting to blow our heads off. Silently follow. Hmm. What do you want to do? Mm -hmm. I guess lead the way. Lead the way. And trust me, we don't have anything to worry about from old Duke or a shotgun. I've gone out hunting with him before. The man sounds like a truck crashing through the trees when he walks. Even if we do cross paths, we'll hear him long before he gets wind of us. Their challenge is up this way. Let's go. Okay. Mm. All right. 
This looks like a good shot. Mind holding the camera? She hands you the camera and takes position. <clears throat> As night falls, my new assistant, the gorgeous Sippy, and I Ooh. find ourselves on a high hill in the Blue Ridge Mountains, where we'll begin our hunt for the elusive yet pungent, pungent skunk ape. The most encountered in Florida, this possible relative of Bigfoot has been spotted all along the southeastern edge of the United States, including right in this very county. Here's hoping we get a, gl we get a glimpse tonight. We'll check back once we're on the trail. Until then, stay searching, Stellars. <laughs> Stellars. That's cute. I can take the camera off your hands now. We'll be able to start the tracking scenes once the sun sets all the way. In the meantime, we get to take in all this gorgeous scenery. The view isn't the only gorgeous Ooh. thing out here. Loving the biodiversity. Okay, how do we want to play this? Do we want to flirt with Stella? Or do we want to... Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I feel like we should get a little flirty. Yeah, the view isn't yeah. the only gorgeous thing out here. Oh. Ooh. The view isn't the only gorgeous thing Is out she here. she <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. Let the moment hang in the air. I'm glad you feel that way. I'm pretty stunning, aren't I? Yeah, Gresham's got a hell of a mug. <laughs> yeah, like those trees, gorgeous trees. <laughs> so we can play it awkward, we can play it funny, cocky, or a little bit of a tension, or go in with it. I don't know. I'm between let the moment hang in the air or I'm glad you feel that way. What do you think? <sighs> We're a book smart hot person. Let the moment hang in the air, maybe? Okay, let's do it. You and Stella let the moment hang in the air, both of you comfortably taking in each other and the natural world around you. Okay. Only for it to be pierced by a loud, percussive snort. I kind of forgot this is a horror dating <laughs> Like, horror novel, not a dating sign. <laughs> wow, was that a deer? The skunk ape has found us. It's Duke back with the shotgun run. Death has come for me at last. <laughs> Goodbye, cruel world. <laughs> Remain silent. That is so funny. <laughs> was that a deer? Or Remain the... silent? I guess maybe those two would be, or unless you want to go, that is completely dramatic. <laughs> that is so funny to me for some reason. Let's do it. Yeah, you want to? Sure. <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> Death has come for me at last. Goodbye, cruel world. <laughs> None of you come to terms with your own mortality just yet. That's just the sound deer make when they want to <laughs> warn the rest of their herd about big scary predators like us. Let's check it out! <laughs> okay. That makes sense with our book smart self. It's like, hey. Ooh. As you and Stella hear the footfalls of animals retreating into the woods, she reaches for her flashlight. I don't like this dark area. <laughs> I know. Oh! Oh! What happened to it? A single deer remains behind, staring down the beam of light while oh. Gretchen whines and pulls at her harness. Same, Gretchen. And then it's gone. Did that deer have, like, a tumor? I don't know. Jeez, Gretchen, calm down. You're gonna hurt yourself. She cannot handle deer. When she gets like this, I usually have to pick her up and hold her. She has a bad habit of slipping her harness when she wants to go after something. Okay. You're too much of a potato. And they don't make harnesses to fit potatoes, do they? <laughs> okay. Was that some sort of cyst or something? That's what I'm curious about okay. immediately. Yeah. We'll just do it. Was, that, was there some sort of cyst or something on that deer? It looked bad. Yeah, I think you're right. I bet it wasn't an abscess. Maybe a tumor? It's not like wild animals can get those taken care of. So they just get bigger and bigger. Poor thing. But there's not much we can do about it. No. Oh, I wonder if we could talk to animals if we could talk to the deer. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, so why do you bring Gretchen with you? Yeah. That got my heart right up. I'm ready for the hunt. <laughs> Never too late to turn back on my side. Why do you bring Gretchen? Yeah. Like, keep the conversation going? 
Why do you bring Gretchen out here with you? She doesn't seem like the safest choice for a hiking companion. I would just be worried about her constantly. Yeah. She's 18 years old. Yeah, like she is an old dog. Like I would be like, at any point, she, she could will just, die. She could just die. I actually find her to be quite the opposite. Sure, she wants to chase stuff, but I usually let her when I'm not on when I'm not on one of my cryptid hunts, so I can't hold that against her. Okay. I'm just happy she's still so feisty, even at her age. Pugs aren't exactly known for their good health. No, they're not. But here she is, running around in the woods at 17. Oh, 17. Okay. I really thought she was 18. And I feel like the fresh mountain air and exercise have helped her a lot in that regard. Okay. You defy the laws of nature, don't you, Gretch? Okay. Um, I guess I'm ready for the hunt. I got my heart rate up. I'm so ready for the hunt. Let's book and go. Same for me. How's about we take a quick snack break to fuel up and then we get right into the night's activities. I've got all the best trail snacks. Okay. I bet, again, if we were allergic to peanuts, this would be a bad time. Yeah. As you settle down to rest, Stella breaks open a bag of assorted snacks. Extra m &Ms. Oh, yeah. Snack bar, dried apricots, sesame sticks. Okay. Personally, I like, I do like dried apricots. That's mm. just me. Um, extra m &Ms, I guess, are cool, too. I like a snack bar. And I like a sesame stick. Yeah, I'm like, I'm here for all of these, so. What's our vibe? Um, extra m &Ms, that seems like a hot person thing, right? <laughs> sure. Chocolate. You grab the trail mix classic choice. It never fails to satisfy. I like to mix my own to make sure it has the best stuff, and I use dried cherries instead of raisins. Ooh. Maybe it's a bit of a controversial pick, but even as someone who's passionate about dried fruit, I simply cannot abide raisins. I actually love raisins. <laughs> nah, raisins for life. I can't say I have a horse in this race. It's all good. I can't say I have a horse in this race. It's all bad. I can't say I have a horse in this race. It's all food. <laughs> I um, only dare it. I would say it's all good because I do like dried cherries too. So I mean, racing for life. <laughs> it's all good. I can't say I have a horse in this race. It's all good. Dried fruit is dried fruit to me. It's delicious, but I can't say I prefer one over the other. That's fair. No, that's pretty true for me too. That's a good way to experience the world, friend. Just enjoy what life has to offer. Did we just get friend zoned? Just enjoy what life has to offer. Free from judgment. Nice. Dried cherries are better though. <laughs> You and Stella settle down on an overlook, snacks in hand, as the quiet sounds of evening wildlife wash over you. Gretchen gnaws a stick, distracted for the time being. You love that moment when a dog is distracted by a stick. So, tell me what it's like in spin. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I did too. I was like, what? <laughs> We're sippy from spin, remember? <laughs> Do you have a house? An apartment? Do you live with family? Roommates? Pets? Tell me what it's like to be sippy. What is it like to be sippy? Alone in a dingy studio apartment, closet in a house with ten roommates, doorless basement, floods. These are all horrible. A difficult roommate. Shed in someone's yard. Internet cafe. I don't know what that say. Sure, I guess the dingy studio apartment. I live alone in a dingy studio apartment. Okay, and I love it. It's a mixed bag. I hate it. Leave it at that. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. It's a mixed bag? Yeah, maybe. Like kind of middle, middle of the road? And it's a mixed bag. At first it was kind of nice to finally have a space that was just mine, but now it feels cramped. It's like I'm stuck in a closet alone and no one can come let me out because I chose this for myself and as far as they know, I'm happy being there. The lights flicker, the toilet is constantly getting backed up because the landlady upstairs keeps flushing her cat's litter, it smells like cigarettes for some reason, and it's home to an extremely durable population of roaches. But I guess it's home. I do what I can to spruce up the place. I got a plant. You know how they say living things are supposed to brighten up a room. When you put it like that, I wonder if staying in that old mansion is a step up or a step down for you. Maybe just a step sideways. Have you tried looking for a different place? Or maybe finding a roommate? 
There's gotta be a better apartment than that in the big city like Sven. Thought about finding roommates? I've had enough bad roommates for a lifetime. I've been saving up for something better or shrug. I've been saving up for something better. Oh, I hear you. I've been saving up for something better. Oh, yeah? So, what do you do for a living? Ooh. Ooh. Heard of? I thought it was a I'm a first year assistant at a big law firm. I'm a streamer. I'm a student. I'm a teacher. I'm an. Oh my god, okay. I'd rather not say or remain silent. Ooh, Ooh. lots of options. Lots of options. Who what are. We, who what is Sippy? Who do we want Sippy to be? Smart and hot. Uh, could be student. Yeah. Could be teacher. Could be law firm. Could be ads for a company no one's heard of, maybe? Mm. Maybe maybe any of those? Or maybe just remain silent? Mm. Be mysterious? <laughs> I, 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 maybe I any don't of those? Know. Maybe those would be the best option. Oh. There's so many choices in this game I was not expecting. It's very in depth. Hmm. I guess student. Like I kind of feel like student makes yeah. a lot of sense. Yeah, let's be a student. I'm still in school. I've got a work study program going on right now that keeps me going, and sometimes I participate in research studies that throw a cool twenty bucks my way. Oh yeah. I've always wondered what it'd be like to study at a big city school. Living in a dorm with a bunch of people your age, staying out late and eating pizza, meeting people from around the world. Though I guess you're not doing the dorm part. But I couldn't leave these beautiful woods behind. This is my home, and I love it here. And I think leaving would just make me miss it. So what are you studying? Ooh, biology, psychology, English, business, education. I feel like for you it's going to be psychology or English. Yep. Or education. <laughs> so, or yeah. So, which one do you want to do? Mm. We're hot and book smart. English. <laughs> All right. English. Oh, neat. So you study books and stuff. Yeah, I'm a writer too. I couldn't figure out what else to do. I love it, but I'm nervous about what I'll do after I graduate. Well, there's one correct answer. <laughs> Yeah, I'm trying to be a writer. I've actually got a novel I've been working on, and I think it could really be something. It'd be nice if that works out and I sell a million copies and I never have to live like this ever again. A crisp breeze passes over you. What about you? What's your living situation? Or sit in silence? I feel like we should ask. You know. What about you? What's your living situation? Gretchen and I live in a little house just outside town. It's actually the house I grew up in, so it has a lot of pleasant memories attached to it, and I'm glad I could keep it in the family. My great-great-grandfather built that house, and he must have done a great job, because it's just as sturdy as it's ever been. Do you live with your parents? Do you live alone? Remain silent. I guess either of the first two. Yeah, like... I don't know. How do we see her, I guess, is what it's asking. Um, do you want to ask if she lives alone? That way, like, if something, like, horribly tragic has happened to her parents, we don't have to make her Yeah, and up. also living a with her parents, she could say no, but she could still live with a partner. Mm, mm-hmm. So living alone just kind of... Covers the whole thing, yeah. Yeah. Do you live alone there? Yeah, the place used to belong to my parents, but they're not around anymore. And the holler's a small enough place that other folks don't need roommates. Oh, did they move? Oh, geez, I'm so sorry. Oh, because they're dead. Same oh, thing. God. None of these oh. are good. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> I don't know. Hmm. Because, oh, did they move? I don't think I'd say any of these, I'm going to be honest. Yeah, I don't know. That's up to you. Say nothing, because I don't like any of those yeah, either. I don't either. You hold your silence, uninterested or perhaps, or perhaps unwilling to no, probe not Stella. uninterested. Yeah, it's more the unwilling to probe Stella any further. <laughs> Excuse me? Whoa. St 
Estelle immediately packs her bag and slings it over her shoulder. Okay, we're on I the keep move. keep forgetting this is a horror game. We're on the move. Okay. Jesus Christ. Skunk cape. More deer? Please tell me that was a raccoon. Say enough. Um. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I feel like me, mm -hmm. I would be like, Jesus Christ, or please tell me that was raccoon. Yeah. Uh, probably Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Whatever made that sound, I've never heard anything like it. And it's close. Here, hold Gretchen's leash for me and let's check it out. Don't give me your Don't dog. Don't give me the dog. I That's too much responsibility on poor little Sippy. You and Stella inch towards the tree line as she shines her flashlight into the woods. As you approach, a series of weak clucks call out from a nearby bush. It's one of the chickens. Are they chickens? Yeah. Maybe Duke's birds weren't eaten after all. Oh. <gasps> Where'd it go? What the? What the hell was that? Hold on, I gotta play that back. Holy shit. I'm guessing it must be maybe two, three feet tall? It doesn't look hairy either. So I think we can rule out Skunk Gape. But whatever it is, it has one of Duke's chickens. It looks like it's headed north. Let's go after it. Discover new ammo and everything. Discover right behind you. But now that we've found something, what have we got? Me and Dude, do we have to or follow us? Mm. I think just just follow Stella. I don't think I would have any words in this situation. <laughs> okay. You follow Stella as she sprints into the unknown, Gretchen excitedly pulling you along by her leash. Oh. Oh no. Ugh. Are you okay about the monster? Okay, we're gonna die. Oh, good. The monsters will get you. Okay, first. ask if she's okay. Are you okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm alright. I just tripped on something weird. Oh no, that poor thing. It must have been one of Duke's. It's got one of those cysts or abscesses yeah, or tumors. Like the deer. Mm -hmm. Oh, Jesus. It's still alive. <sighs> okay, investigate the chicken. You move towards Stella to get a closer look at the chicken. Don't let Gretchen too close. She'll try to take a bite if you don't stop her. You hold Gretchen's leash close to your chest. She seems nervous, squirming slightly against her harness. Examine the head, the wing, the growth. The growth. Good God. At first you thought it might have been a tumor, but this is something else. The skin is stretched taut, the growth pulsing beneath. If you didn't know any better, you'd say this could be some sort of parasitic growth, like a wasp laying eggs inside of a caterpillar. Okay. Examine the head. Its poor little chicken eyes look up at you, glazed over, but still rolling around in their sockets with unfortunate life. Oh, this is awful. Looks like this is what Stella slipped on. The wing is barely still attached, but that seems to be the least of this chicken's concerns. Oh, God. <sighs> Having investigated to your heart's content, you turn away to give Stella room to film. <clears throat> it seems we found one of Duke's chickens, folks, and she's not looking good. I'm hesitant to speculate, but she definitely seems to have some sort of growth under her skin. Could be a tumor, could be something else. Either way, I don't think there's much that can be done for her at this point. I'm gonna have to put up some massive content warnings for this video. Hey, do you hear that? I don't wanna hear it. I don't wanna hear it anymore. What in the Sam Hill are you two doing out here? Didn't I tell you to bur birdie? Oh, birdie, what's wrong, darling? Good God. What is this whispering? I don't know. Did y'all see what did this to her? Pretty sure we can hear them. We caught a glimpse of something earlier. It was not us. Don't shoot me. Why should I tell you anything? Um. No, but I'm pretty sure we can hear them. Unless that's, we can't. Oh, yeah. Maybe we caught a glimpse of something earlier. Maybe. 
We caught a glimpse of something earlier, and when we chased after it, it brought us here. Whatever did this to her? I think we can hear them in the trees. Oh, okay, so everyone can hear them. Good. Put that camera away, for God's sake, girl. I don't want to be another one of your videos. No one needs to see me like this. No one needs to see Birdie like this. You wouldn't put her online, would you? Not when she's like this, all swollen and hurting. Duke, did you hear me? I think they're coming closer. Oh! <laughs> Come out, you sons of bitches. Duke, don't shoot them. We have no idea what'll happen. You hear that, Stella? This ain't the sound of something peace-like. Whatever these things are, they'll pay for what they did to my girls. Come on, you. Whatever your name is, grab that flashlight and help me light up a good shot. As the creatures in the tree line grow louder and more numerous, Gretchen violently strains against her harness. Quick! The clothes are on us! I'm so worried about Gretchen. Oh, you want to die for Gretchen? Okay. You said you're worried about Gretchen. I am worried about Gretchen. We've got to die for Gretchen. What the fuck is that? You dive forward and scoop Gretchen into your arms just before she manages to wriggle out of her harness. Your eyes fixate on the dark tree line over Duke's shoulder. God damn it! <gasps> you hear a body hit the ground and then quiet as the chaos fades and the sounds of nature creep back in. Gretchen? Sippy? Duke? Are you alright? Uh, no. Duke's dead. No, I'm not okay, but I'm not shot if that's what you're asking. You? Uh, I'm okay. Gretchen whines and shakes in your arms. Gretchen! Here, I'll take her. My poor little pup. Thanks for watching out for her. D Duke? Are you okay? Oh my god! Oh my god! Duke! Holy shit! What do we do now? What the hell are we supposed to do? Oh, we've got to go to the police. What do you mean, what do we do? We've got to take this to the police. The man's dead. You're right. You're right. And we have footage of what happened here. But it's so dark and shaky. It all just seems so unbelievable. We need more footage. Come on, let's go after them before we lose our chance. Okay. But what about Duke? <laughs> We're a book smart hottie. What do you want to do? I mean, my honest, what I would honestly do would be like, a man is dead. Like, are you serious? Like, someone died. Are you nuts? A man is dead, Stella. Uh, y yeah, you're right. Let's head back and call the police. My phone should get reception once we're back on the main road. <laughs> As you and Stella quickly make your way back through the woods, the unearthly whispers of creatures unknown once again surround you. Yes, keep moving. You say nothing, continuing forward with grim determination. Oh. oh. We're almost there! As you and Stella reach the main road, the whispers fade back into the sounds of nature. It's only they stop following us. I should get reception now that we're back on the main road. Let me find my phone so I can call the sheriff. You feel a buzz in your pocket. Six missed calls from Tabitha. And 13 text messages. Okay, Tabitha, we didn't know you cared. Yeah. Call her, text her that you're okay. Text her that you need to calm down. Tabitha seems worried. Or say this. Yikes, Tabitha's been blowing up my phone. I don't think Tabitha would be so needy. I think I'm in trouble with something important. Keep it to yourself. So we can talk to Stella about it, or we can text or call Tabitha. I would call Tabitha. Call her? Yeah. You try and call Tabitha back, but it goes straight to voicemail. Okay. 
text her that she's okay. Yeah, that you're at least, you text Tabitha back and let her know you're okay. Your message sits unread. Okay, um. Tabitha seems worried? Yeah, Tabitha seems worried. Tabitha seems worried. It's pretty late, isn't it? Stella pulls out her phone and dials. Hello, Earl? It's Stella Richmond. I'm up on the mountains on the Asigna Trail. Duke is dead, Earl. Shotgun. It happened right in front of us. There's... There's something in the woods. Okay. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I think we're okay, but hurry. Jesus, Earl. Who's going to tell Bo? I guess now we wait. It takes a little while, but eventually a patrol car arrives on the scene. Out of it walk two officers, Sheriff Hugby, a friendly older man, and Deputy Franklin, a serious man wearing sunglasses, despite it being the middle of the night. See, right there. A thing jumps out of the woods, and then the shotgun goes off. What in Sam Hill? What is that? Some kind of Pillsbury Doughboy? Could have been a naked maniac. No, no, there's more than one. They chase us through the woods. Whatever they are, they aren't human. And they killed Duke. No, Duke shot himself on accident. Uh-huh. Now we're going to have to confiscate this camera. Miss Richmond, if you don't mind. This is evidence. But I... Uh, okay. Let me just turn it off to save the battery. Here you go, Deputy Franklin. We appreciate your compliance with the law. We're going to team out in the morning to retrieve the body. But for now... Sheriff Hugby and I, please call me Earl. Earl and I will escort you and... Who are you exactly? That's Sippy. They came into town today for the funeral. Sippy. As in... Tabitha's cousin? Yeah, Tabitha's right. cousin. Tabitha's cousin, yeah. Damn, didn't think you'd actually show. Uh, okay. We'll escort you both back to town. If there's a naked maniac on the loose, it's best you don't walk back on your own. It wasn't a... Never mind. Why are you going out there tonight? There's a dead body in the woods. Those things out there could attack someone else. Well, if it ain't exactly... Well, it ain't exactly like old Duke is going anywhere at this point. He'll be sitting out there in the morning. Damn. Watch him not be still out there right? in the morning, though. We only have a skeleton crew at the moment. Monday nights are Deputy Derrickson's bowling nights. Well, call him in! <laughs> we'll be on alert for any more reports of naked maniacs, but retrieving Duke will just have to wait. That is not a real thing. Like, if someone is dead, you don't just, like, we'll wait till morning. Yeah, no, you immediately get CSU out there to, you know, quarter off the crime scene and, like... <laughs> now, if you kindly step into the vehicle, we can bring you to safely to your home. Do we have to ride back with you? We could just walk. Those creatures left. We'll be fine. I'm afraid I'm going to have to insist. For your own safety. Stella sighs. <sighs> okay, thank you. You can ride up front with me, little lady. That is, if your mama permits. Sure, Earl. You can hold Gretchen on the way back to town. The cops... The cops usher you and Stella into the back of their squad car. Don't you take my dog. I know. Are they arresting us? <laughs> <laughs> it kind of feels like they're arresting us. You are just the cutest little thing, Miss Gretchen. Yes, you are. Sheriff Hugby pats Gretchen on the head affectionately, but she remains wholly focused on Stella. A worried look stretched across her little pug face as Hugby scratches behind her ears. Okay. Stella stares out the window, oddly quiet. Stella, you good? Hey, Stella, you good? She doesn't respond. Okay. Hmm. I don't know. I don't she know. just feel like... Because... Or would she just remain silent? I think I would probably remain silent because we don't really know her that well. I mean, like, we flirted a bit, but I wouldn't... Especially if she's not talking, I wouldn't just touch her. Fair. You sit quietly, watching the trees pass by in the light of the headlights. Every now and then you think you see a pale, anguished face staring out at you before it slips back into the darkness. 
Soon the rumble of gravel beneath the tires gives way to an uneven pavement and the car comes to a stop in front of a small cottage. You two stay out of trouble. We'll have this all sorted out in the morning. Just get a good night's sleep. And you, whatever your name was. <laughs> Sippy. Sippy. Sure. You're in town for the funeral? Good. Don't you go leaving before then. I imagine we'll need to ask you a few questions about everything you've seen tonight. Stella, keep an eye on them for us. Make sure they don't get into any more trouble. Stella was the one who got us into trouble. <laughs> y'all have a good night now. Bye-bye, Gretchy, and y'all have a good evening. If any boogaboo was giving you trouble, you know who to get, how to get in touch. And here you are, back in town, away from the woods, with no one but Stella in sight. Holy shit. Would you ask if we could walk home? <laughs> Let me ask him, but why on earth did you want to walk home? Okay, two walk homes. Let's say. Um, what do you want to do? I kind of want to ask her how she's holding up again. See if she'll. Okay. Do you not want to do any explorers? Oh. Um. Maybe the. I hope you don't mind me asking, but why on earth would did you want to walk home? I hope you don't mind me asking, but why on earth did you want to walk home? That's a fair question. I've just had some bad experiences with cars. I don't know how to drive them, and I don't like getting into them unless it's literally a question of life or death. Oh, so that's why she was probably a little yeah, off quiet in the, car. in the car. Which I guess tonight was. Sorry if I weirded you out. God, what a night. So now you want to do? Yeah, how are you holding up? How are you holding up? Hell, am I holding up? I mean, not great, but I'm more worried about you. I can't believe they just implied that you're a suspect, even after we showed them all of that footage. But it's okay. I'm not going to let anything bad happen to you. I was there. I filmed the whole thing. At the very least, it'll never hold up in court. And it won't get to that point either, because we're going to do a little investigating of our own. We've got to find out more about those things. If we can get clearer footage, or better yet, trap one of them, there's no way they can blame you for what happened. The library doesn't open for a while, but I've read every book on cryptids they have and never came across anything like that. Hmm. There is someone in town who might have some useful information. My friend's mom. Her place isn't far. We should have her over now before it gets any later. Hmm. Hmm, interesting. Because Tabitha didn't I ever know. get back to us. Ooh, I don't know. I guess who do you want to get more friendship with, I guess? I do want to know about these creatures, though. I kind of want to be sarcastic about it, though. Sure, why not? Let's keep this nightmare going. <laughs> okay, sure, why not? Who cares? Let's keep this nightmare party going. <laughs> you all right, pal? Seems like you might be losing it a little. Yeah. Or the more reason to visit my friend's mom. <laughs> <laughs> like I always say. <laughs> I always leave her place feeling lighter. Come on, she's down to down this way. I feel like... Stop here. Stop it here. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, that is episode one of Sleepy Hollow, Starlet Hollow, Scarlet Hollow, Scarlet Hollow. <laughs> Got there eventually. Yes. I, I guess Sleepy Hollow because it's Ichabod <laughs> Crane. It kind of's got that spooky. It's got the Sleepy Hollow vibes for sure. Yeah. So um, yeah, this was episode one of Scarlet Hollow. Um, we hope you enjoyed, um, if you could, uh, cause it was, there were some part that was not enjoyable at the end that stressed me out a lot. I had to grab onto Brittany <laughs> a few times. But, it's the creepy. I'm curious to see where this is going to go. Yeah, I have but, no fucking idea. Yeah. It's very, um, a little spooky. Definitely want to keep playing for sure, but yeah. I will complain about it, and that's just fine. <laughs> <laughs> so 
thought way too fast, honestly. But yeah, so, well, thank you for watching, and we will see you next Tuesday. Bye!